Do it again. Run it back. Run it back. Roll it. Roll. Roll two hundred. A D two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting it out now. I'm getting it out now. I might. Okay, th this clip, this clip might make it in. This might make it into the video. This will be my intro. <laughs> I just rolled it. <laughs> I got a one, bro. I mean, yours is equivalent to like a six or a seven on a D20, which isn't terrible. Uh, it would well, be a 6.5. Kevin. Oh, on a d20 yeah now I, get you. I was like dude i know you're a smart person <laughs> i'm gonna need you to, i'm gonna need you to catch up to this one in my head you were talking about 10. hello hey guys hey How's it going? hey i just rolled a nat one on a d200 so we're starting off strong <laughs> getting it out that's that's pretty impressive thank that's you impressive. All right. i've been working on that on text marissa she is gonna be here we are we are good okay all right so she said <laughs> If she doesn't, I'll go to her house. Oh, there we go. We don't have to go to her house. We're fine. Howdy. You're very quiet. And underground. And also underwater. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, um, for those that haven't seen it yet, dark mode is now an option on D20, so, and it's awesome. So yeah, pleasing yeah, to the I, eyeballs. I, I, it is much nicer. I don't know why, why, why that isn't the default for things these days. Yeah, honestly, awesome. honestly, I feel like they do it just because it makes you feel more special by switching to dark mode. Well, well that might be it. That's my, that's my theory, it just makes people feel better. <laughs> Oh, I can whisper people. Shit. Music playing. I did. I. Was. Uh, I'm not playing anything now. Let me. Well, uh, in any case, um, no. Uh, Marissa is currently deafened and mutant. <laughs> She's working on it. She's working on it. I mean, we can always also turn your volume up. Okay. Yeah. How does it sound if we just turn the volume up? That'd probably be easier. Can you say something, Marissa? Um, okay, say something. Really I have you on maxed, and you are still a little quiet. Oh, yeah. yeah, although on max, I can at least hear you. This is you true. Quiet. Yeah. You are audible. Oh, you could, Blaine, you could try turning up your I'd, I'd stay at 100, bro. <laughs> your headset volume, you animal? Yeah, it stays at 100. I, I curate everything to my 100 headset volume. All right, well, um, I guess I'll just go ahead and get started then. Uh, if everyone's ready. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I can hear Marissa, so. She is uh, audible. You can hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is it like scale of 1 to 10? How well can you hear me? How well? You're I mean, I could probably hear you. Yeah, like yeah. probably like 6 or 7 maybe. I would probably say like six. 4 or 5. Yeah, 4 or yeah, 5. Give you a strong okay, five. if I was doing if I was doing volume, it'd be like 3 or 4. <laughs> but I give you a strong average audible. I can you know what I'm talking, I can hear pretty well, but like It'd be very easy to talk over you and like not hear you, I think. Worse. <laughs> much worse. <laughs> well, not much worse, but Same. I think. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Uh, the background noise has gone away, though, so whatever you did for that is better. <laughs> have you, where do you have your, if you go to settings and voice and video, where do you have your, like, output? Oh, I forget you can change your output volume or input volume. Top 230. Uh, I guess it's 200. And it would be input, I think, right? Yeah, yeah it'll be input, input, yeah. 
Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, great. And the noise, the background noise is fine too. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. Great. We've got, uh, we've got this right. One more question. No. Um, what? <laughs> what well, is the name of the website where we like all the dice? Uh, you can click the link again. If you go, yeah, if you go into general, go up. You just click the join link. That's what I've learned that I can just keep doing. Ooh, I mean, if you, yeah, if you just go to roll twenty two, I think it should the campaign should pop up if you like it. But I don't know. Clicking the link should work too well. Right. Oh, um, I was gonna ask you real quick before we started. Did we get any XP for last time, or no? Because it was just kind of a running around mission. Um. Yeah, you guys got XP. Uh, typically, I level up by milestone, not experience points. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm down with that. Um. Yeah, I find I I used to I started with experience points, and it's just a lot of work to keep track yeah, of, yeah. and it amounts to almost the same thing anyway. Honestly, yeah, milestone seems like seems more fun anyway because you accomplish that cool thing and you're like guaranteed to get that level. So it's, I like it's that. Definitely yeah. more Naruto based anyway. True. But yeah, that's more true too. Yeah, and yeah. then okay. the other thing is that like if you do experience, then I find that it motivates players to just like kill everything that they kill, come across. Yeah, that makes sense. Experience, so makes I, sense. I try to avoid doing that. Um, all right. Uh, so quick recap of last time. Um. For, yeah, it's been two weeks, you might have forgotten. Uh, let's see. Uh, you guys graduated from the Ninja Academy. Mm -hmm. um, you had brief scenes with each of your respective um, households, uh, for lack of a better word. Um, you uh, learned that you would be uh, the member of the, the members of the squad Kenjiro, um, who is apparently known as the Golden Fool. And is not terribly well respected um, in the village. Uh, however, uh, you all met him, and uh, while well, he did seem to be um, uh, have sort of a goofy streak, uh, he uh, appeared to be competent, uh, and he tested all of you um, with an interesting test uh, where you had to investigate an area and discover the story of what had happened there. Um, having passed this test, uh, telling the story at least to his satisfaction, uh, you all. Um, head home for the night uh, with uh, Kenjiro sort of disappearing after quickly saying bye-bye uh, and I'll meet you tomorrow. Um, you all head home. Uh, and that's where we'll start the session. Um, let me, I'm going to play some music now, so be careful. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, so uh, you all head home. Uh, and unless you guys have objections or other things that you want to do, um, I was going to sort of do a little time skip uh, for a couple weeks uh, where you guys basically run around doing D rank missions um, under Kenjiro's uh, watch. Um, D rank missions, if you recall from Naruto, they're basically like the running around doing errands and chores. Yes. Um, finding the cats, uh, cleaning up the <laughs> yes. cats, like that. The um, pet missions. Uh, Kenjiro, um, he, you know, once he's assigned these missions, he, you meet him with him pretty much every day. Um, I suppose most, like, I think like five out of the seven days of the week or whatever. Uh, and he gives you your mission and then he kind of just sort of sits around while you guys do it. Um, not really getting involved or paying much attention. Uh, what, what is uh, each <laughs> of your characters sort of general approach and attitude towards these missions and sort of menial missions? Uh, I, I can definitely say for Arata, I think he would very, he would very much feel like it's, uh, like kind of below him just with his kind of, you know, like I'm the cool guy attitude. He'd very much feel like he would, he will complete them, but he definitely is like, I want more. Like this is, this is below me. This is not to my full power kind of thing. Okay. Full potential. Uh, for Izzy to definitely be more, more humbling, uh, since you grew up in a bunch of, a bunch of errands, he would... <clears throat> Yeah, mean, yeah, th these would be pretty similar to what you would be doing anyway, really. yeah. if you if you weren't on missions. And you're getting paid considerably more for these missions than oh, you would be, uh, true. Just be working yeah. for free for the orphanage. So he's fairly humble about it and nothing new. He's not, like, extremely happy about it, but he's, he doesn't have any uh, bad mood. 
Okay. Um, Suiko, what 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 is uh, your response to these missions? Um, she's fine with them. She's going to bring them home money to the family and stuff, and she would be happy that she gets them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the important so, things. So, uh, as a result of these missions that you do, um, you don't get a bunch of money from them, but uh, you do save up a little bit over time. Uh, so you each get 150 Rio um, from these missions, if you want to mark that on your character sheet. Not. Uh, um, quarter of a uh, grand. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. You said uh, 150? 150, yeah. For the 200 Rio I found in the last session, I split that up between us three. Sure. Yeah. And then I'll just split it. I guess I'll, I'll do. You can keep a hundred. For me, and then 50 for. for oh, wait, no. Just do a hundred yeah, for you and 50 for both of us. Alright, it's your call. Okay. Um, so that would be a total of 250 Rio for Izuto, uh, and then 150 for both Arata and Suiko. Okay. Um, totally. Uh, so, um, you complete, uh, as I said, uh, this uh, sort of lasts a couple weeks, um, fairly without note, although there are three events, uh, one each that sort of sticks out in each of your minds uh, as you approach uh, Kendro for the next day of missions. Uh, who, who wants to go first? I can, uh, I can wait it out. I went first last time. Yeah, for what, sorry? Mm -hmm. Uh, these are like little downtime, little, you know, story events, uh, downtime, downtime events. Um, we'll have easy to go first then. All right. It'll That's... be a little more fair as I actually do. Um, so, uh, easy to, uh, oh, okay. Find... Sorry. I gotcha. I was zoomed in. I didn't see my character. I was confused. Yeah. It's, it's a big <laughs> map, but you're on the bottom part of the map. Um, I got it. I got it. so easy to, uh, you are heading to your favorite, uh, cafe, uh, in downtown Konoha. Um, with some of your, uh, you know, well-spent, well-earned money. Uh, and you enter. Uh, it's a cafe slash inn. It's kind of a, an all-purposes all thing. Yeah. Um, when uh, a nobleman um, dressed up in excellent garb with this little cane, uh, he's speaking with the innkeeper. Uh, and a villager, mildly tipsy, it appears, uh, coming out of the cafe, um, he sort of tries to avoid you and bumps into the nobleman, uh, causing the nobleman to drop um, what appears to be a uh, a uh, little box. Uh, the box falls to the ground, and a bunch of these like really nice-looking cigars sort of fall out of it, and sort of uh, a couple of them sort of land in the dirt uh, near the innkeeper's floor. Um, okay. The nobleman turns to the villager. Uh, and begins yelling at him and berating him. Uh, you low, you low-born scum! You bumped into me. Look what you've done. You've ruined these like wonderful cigars. Uh, and he keeps going on about this. Uh, the villager is like trying to be as you know apologetic as possible, uh, but the nobleman isn't having any of it. Um, a bit of a crowd begins to gather around, uh, and the innkeeper is trying to sort of stay out of it. Um, is there anything that you would like to do in response to this scenario? Uh, Yes, I, I go and I'm guessing that he dropped the cigars, so I go and try to pick them up. Um, and then I would like, hey, uh, sir, listen, I'm sure he didn't mean you any harm. Uh, he didn't mean anything by it. There's a crowd gathering here, and I don't know if you want that attention. You seem new here. I haven't seen you before. I I would just I would just suggest that. Uh, you know, just by, let bygones do bygones. Obviously, he's very sorry. So, all right, you can make a persuasion check. If you recall how to do that. Yes. Twenty and then whatever my thing is. The the nobleman sort of sneers, <laughs> at you, uh, and he says, uh, oh, "Look at this! A co common thief trying to steal my cigars." He sort of snorts and uh, sort of points at you, and he says, uh, "I'll have, uh, I'll have, uh, I'll, I'll have your name, sir." Uh, my name is Izuto, and I'm not trying to steal any of your cigars, sir. I don't smoke. Uh, he, he snorts and says, "You wouldn't appreciate them anyway." He sort of snatches them from you. 
Um, and he uh, sort of points at the villager, uh, sort of returning his attention him. He says, uh, oh, actually, before he does that, he says to you, stay out of the business of your betters, boy. And uh, he turns to the villager and he says, I'll have you pay for that entire box of cigars. And the villager sort of like looks at you and looks at the innkeeper and sort of looks around. No one's you know, sort of avoiding his gaze. And he says, how much is it? And the nobleman says, 200 a Rio. And the villager sort of, uh, he, his uh, fa face becomes white. Um, this clearly isn't a particularly wealthy man. Uh, he says, I, I don't have nearly that much money. That, that's, that's a whole month's worth of pay. And the nobleman sort of takes a step and sort of grabs him by the scruff of his collar and says, you better pay, buddy. Uh, is there anything you'd like to do in response to this? If someone were to pay for the cigars, they would keep the cigars, I'd imagine, since they're paying for them. I say that out of, like, with moderately high sarcasm, but towards him. Okay. Uh, I'll say go ahead and make a persuasion check with advantage. Okay. I love that he puts a little, uh, little sass on it. What he wanted uh, him to know. My charisma is under. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going well. Uh, you get to roll again since you're rolling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, the nobleman sort of like he he thinks about it for a second. And he sort of nods slowly, and he, he looks a little suspicious, but he says, Well, I, I suppose so. They're, they're kind of dirty anyway. I, I, I wouldn't uh, deign to uh, put, put my lips on these things. Um, and he looks back at the villager, and he says, All right, you can keep the box, but you, you will pay for it. The, sir. The villager, oh, yeah. okay, sorry. Sorry, go on. No, you, you go. go. You go. Right. Uh, well, the, villager, the villager looks at you, hopefully, because he, he sort of senses that you have a, a plan here. Sir, I would assume that these cigars that you have are, they fell on the ground. I mean, you're going to be known for this. Are you really just going to discredit your, your, your potential business in this village by making this commotion? The nobleman says, uh, my reputation isn't dependent on the doings of, of low-born folk like you. And he sort of, uh, lets, let, he lets the villager this guy's kind of an ass. At you. And he finally notices your leaf headband. Uh, and he says, ah, you're a ninja. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, it looks like this man can't pay his debt, so uh, please, arrest him. Okay. Um, now that's a predicament. Well, what's the problem? Chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I don't know of any legal debt this man owes you. You have the cigars. Uh, he points at the sort of the, the cigars that are dirty and he says, uh, this box has been ruined, obviously, uh, by this man's clumsiness. Only two or three fell out. I feel like he should only pay for two or three. The nobleman sort of, uh, he, he tries to, like, tower over you a little bit. Uh, and he says, uh, I wouldn't expect a lowborn like you to know of such things. But once one or two of these things are tainted, the whole box might as well be, be uh, thrown out. Sir, that's, that's not very smart logic. My centipede, if he is taller than me, my centipede tries to meet him at <laughs> So he, okay. he would move further up my body and try to meet him as to not make me look smaller than he is so he doesn't get the wrong idea. The, the nobleman sort of backs away a little bit intimidated. Um, in fact, go ahead and make an intimidation check. Okay. I love how it's see in my head, I thought he was gonna like raise himself up, but instead he just makes the centipede straight up go higher, which is so much better. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um he sort of sneers at you and he says, uh 
you're lucky my bodyguards aren't here, or else they they'd, uh, they they wouldn't take kindly to this uh, show of uh, force. All right, you know this isn't worth my trouble. Izuto, you said your name was. Yes, sir. Don't forget it. He sort of he, he sort of chuckles, uh, sort of sinisterly, and he says, "Oh, I won't." And he leaves the uh, cafe finally. Uh, the villager sort of comes up to you and bows to you, and he says. Thank you, sir. That man was crazy. All right. Now, well, you're welcome. Now that I saved you, I expect the 200 euro you were going to pay. He, he says, uh, I, I don't have that sort of money. Wow. I'm just kidding. Don't worry about it, man. Of course. Uh, he was just he was just a stuck-up guy. That's It's whatever. Dude, I thought you were saying for a second. Like, well, he chuckles nervously, and he says, uh, well, Mr. Easy to sir, I'll be sure to tell all my friends, uh, all my friends at the lumber mill about you. Yeah, um, of course. If uh, if you ever want to repay the favor, there's a lot of work that you work in which that could be done. Uh, he he nod, he nods to himself thoughtfully and says, I'll, "I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind." Uh, and he, he sort of thanks you again and uh, makes his way out as well. Um. All right. Uh, that was Easy Toe's thing. Is is the um, box of cigars is there? Can I pick it up? Uh, yeah, despite, despite, despite what the nobleman said, he did take the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Hey, good yeah. question though. Good question though. <laughs> um. Uh, in any case, uh, Suiko or Arata, which one you want to do next? Uh, okay, I can go. All right. Uh, so Arata, um, you uh, go to your favorite noodle shop. Oh, heck yeah. Top of the map. Hey, I do mess with some noodles. There's some fire right now. These guys will leave. <laughs> um, uh, Is you, Than with you, me right now? Just out of curiosity. Oh, yeah, I suppose he would. Okay. You you are a regular at this shop, so uh, the the chef is more than more than happy to have the uh, have Thanon. Okay, cool. Um, the uh, chef uh, prepares the meal as normal. However, um, there is a tuning there uh, in his um, uh, flak jacket, uh, mm -hmm. clearly off duty. Um, he's he's sort of nursing a, a cup of sake uh, and a bowl of noodles that's only sort of partially eaten. He's sort of mumbling something to himself. Um, he finally gets up and sort of staggers towards you. Uh, and as he does, he kind of bumps into you. Uh, and his eyes sort of narrow at you for a second. And then his eyes widen in recognition. He, he, he sort of snorts and he says, Ah, oh, I know you. I've seen you around. You're Arata Inazuki. Uh, yeah, that's me. Um, and he, sort of, he starts me? laughing, like, uproariously. Uh, clearly, I mean, somewhat drunken. Yeah. Uh, and he sort of just points at you and he says, Oh, you're the heir who got stuck with the golden fool. You'll never you'll never you'll never be the be the true leader of the Inazuka clan. I don't know what your dad is thinking. Uh yeah, I I immediately cut him off. Um because I don't you know, I don't take these insults very lightly. Um I was like, uh, what are you trying to say, bud? Uh he's still like laughing, clearly not noticing that you're like taking this pretty seriously. Yeah. Uh, and he just sort of says, uh, "Oh, the golden fool. Uh, what, 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 will, what will you be? The, 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 the fool heir? The heir of the fool?" And he tries to come up with a couple other uh, nicknames for you that are less flattering. Okay. Um, I definitely immediately ask. I'm just like, "Well, what's so bad about him? Like, he's seemed decent so far." Uh, this just makes him burst out into laughter even more, and he says, "Oh, you're, you're so young. You don't even know." Oh, that man, he's hes hes a complete fool. The entire village knows what went wrong with them. Uh, it only, only makes sense that you don't, though. A fool for a fool, right? <laughs> All right. Listen, bud, I, I know that you're, you know, feeling yourself a little bit, but if we keep with the insults, I don't know how much I'm going to keep appreciating that. So I just want to cut this one short. Um. Okay, you can make a persuasion check. Okay. What do you add to persuasion again? 
Charisma. Okay. I don't know if you're proficient in it. Um, nah, I don't have anything. Okay. Um, he sort of snorts and he sort of leans down at you and he says, Oh, w- what you gonna do? Are you gonna gonna pull a prank on me? Um, I immediately look at Than and I kind of like just I I just get, get, I give Than a look and Than kind of you know reciprocates what's going on and kind of starts growling a little bit. Uh, he looks over at Thanatos, um, sort of noticing him for the first time, and he sort of stumbles over to him and starts like uh, you know patting him on the head like and scratching him, uh, you know trying Dang to it. pet him but not very well. Yeah. Um, he yeah. says, uh, "Oh, poor dog. Th- this guy should just uh, he should give you away if he if he wanted what was best for you." Okay, Than Than was definitely very happy initially when receiving the pets because he can never be mad at anyone petting him, but is very protective over me and so gets very mad and tries to tries to snap at his fingers a little bit whenever he starts insulting me. Okay, uh, the tuning kind of backs off and he glares glares at you and he says, "That's not a very friendly dog." Uh, uh yeah. I mean- finally comes over and he says, "Um, sir, perhaps uh, perhaps you should uh, head on home." And the tuning glares at him and he says, I'll do what I want. I'm a ninja of the leaf village. And he sort of uh, goes back to you and he says, I think this guy's had enough. And he sort of grabs you by the collar. He grabs me by the collar? Yeah. Oh, I definitely, I, I immediately try to shove him off of me. And I say, look, man, I don't want to start anything, but like, we'll go if you want to go. <laughs> All right, uh, make an intimidation check. All right. Mm. Oh, still Christmas. Oh my gosh, dude. We're rolling out. We are, we are, oh, we're, we're not doing so hot. Uh, the tuning sort of laughs at you again, and he says, uh, yeah, whatever. Just know this, buddy. As long as you're, you're a member of the Golden Fool Squad, ain't nobody gonna take you seriously. <laughs> And he uh, slowly leaves. Uh, and wing his way out. I angrily eat my noodles as I'm not happy with the way that went. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's Harafa's thing. Um, Suiko? Me and Kendra got to have a conversation, bro. <laughs> uh, you are headed um, to your favorite... Uh, Clothing store, I suppose. Um, to just gather some things, uh, uh, spend a little bit of your newfound money. Um, when a uh, small village boy, sort of clearly not looking, um, he runs up to you and sort of bumps into you. He says, "Oh, sorry, miss." And then I can't hear. Wait, can you say that again? Sorry, did I cut off? I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, I said, uh, no problem, kid. Watch where you're going, but no harm done. Okay. Um, he he uh, sort of grins and he uh, runs off. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you steal something from me? <laughs> Make a perception check. <laughs> we'll also, we'll also get the advantage. <laughs> Okay. Well, sorry. Well, twenty, and then I do score. Right? Oh, she's no, no, crazy. No, no, no. no. Oh, no, oh, she did it again. Oh, I beat no, the shit out of that kid. You are so good at you're so no, good at baiting us. You got you got to roll it. Yeah, it's rolling D20. If you just roll 20 plus 4, then it'll automatically give you the 20. It has to be the D20. Yeah. Now I'm probably going to get a 1. Hey. Uh, probably. Hey, We've hit one double digit. <laughs> I'm going to get a 1. Hey, live by the team, okay. die by the team. Amen. Slash. Okay. So slash R space D20. Plus 4. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 
a one in front of the d20? Uh, you can. You you can do one d20 or just leave it blank. It'll it'll roll one if you leave it blank. There you go. Thirteen. Thirteen's not bad. Uh, sorry. How did? I don't know. Oh, okay. I have to like. Um, all right. Uh, yes, you do realize um, immediately that you've just been pickpocketed. Um, you're missing 50 Rio at the moment. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um, what is <laughs> all right. I'll say um, you picked up on it basically immediately. Uh, and you, uh, he sees you coming after him. And he tries to, he tries to run faster, but you are a trained ninja. And <laughs> um, That'll do you, it. You, you, you catch up with him. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, give him a firm shake, and then I go, <laughs> "All right, you little brat, you little turd stain, why are you stealing?" Uh, okay, um, he's pretty intimidated. Uh, he, he produces the fifty Rio that he stole. And he says, take it, take it, just let me go. No, 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 not until you explain to me why you <laughs> Okay, mom. <laughs> um, he says, uh, he says, I, I gotta, I gotta steal or else, or else my older brother beats me up. That's me. Um, okay, who is your older brother? Tell me more about him. He says, he looks a little confused. He says, listen, I, I gave you the Rio. Just let me go. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm invested in this now. <laughs> All right. And I do not support child abuse. So you need to explain everything out of your punishment. <sighs> yeah. Um, so he lo looks around and there's no one, there's obviously no one that's coming to help him. Um, so he's, he explains to you. Uh, that there's a group of kids um, that uh, typically hang about in a park nearby. Um, and his older brother is sort of the leader of this group of kids. Uh, and he has them go and steal. And uh, uh, in, in theory, it's to support the building of a clubhouse. Um, but no work has been done on this supposed club clubhouse. Okay. First question. Why did he pick a ninja? Of all things. Bold choice. The kid sort of looks at you and he said, I didn't see your headband, and you're kind of young to be a ninja. You're kind of young to be a thief, you look <laughs> Also, it's on my waist, I think. <laughs> to complain, did the artist put it on my waist? Yes. No, I think it's I think it's around your neck, maybe. Yeah, I think it's around your oh, neck. It's on your neck? Yeah. Oh, it's your neck, it's your neck. And very obviously it's on my neck. Um, in any case, the, the kid says, uh, all right, I explained, now let me go. He says, uh, well, uh, no, my older brother and I live with our dad, but you can't tell him about this. What do your dad think about this point? Why would he think about you pickpocketing all these people? He says, My dad doesn't know anything about I'd imagine the dad's not, yeah, I'd I'd imagine the dad's not happy about it. Okay. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> that one was one handled child abuse. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Kid, do you have anywhere else? <laughs> she really said, How is one handled child abuse? <laughs> The kid just sort of looks at you and he says, uh, oh, what do you mean? Well, it's like at an inn or or an orphanage? Some of my friends live, live at the orphanage near here. Oh, yeah, can I ask you if I could drop him off at the orphanage? <laughs> okay, sure. So you, you can drag uh, him uh, to the orphanage if you'd like. Oh. Okay. Like to try and convince him that living with the orphan is easier than the game would be much better than being beat. 
Okay. That seems like pretty oh, straight logic. Check. This is kind of insane to convince a child to leave their family. Kind of crazy. Kind of wild. <laughs> okay. Um, the kid, he, he nods along with you as you're sort of trying to explain this to him. But he's clearly like, he just, he just wants to get away for the most part. He's, he's just waiting for a chance. <laughs> That's tough. Oh, she rolled a three. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, he he uh, runs away and he he sort of bows and he says, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I won't I won't ever steal again. Believe me. Believe me." <laughs> and he, he runs off. Um, all right. All right. Uh, so. Uh, no, straight up, I would have given the I would have I would have given the kid the fifty after I caught him. <laughs> I was straight up caught up to the kid, um, asked, and when he said that, I would have so given him the 15 and been like, I meet just stop. Uh, in your typical spot for the day's mission. Is it in here Which somewhere? I suppose it'll just be uh, the park or something. Uh, Kendro, yeah, you probably would want He'll meet you at the cafe. That's a good place to meet. Is that not the noodle shop? Um, Yeah, feel free to move your own. Let's see, that is the. Uh, that makes it much easier on me. Yeah. Uh, is the cafe. Oh boy, uh, in any case, um, Kenjiro, he normally comes to these meetings uh, with a, a small scroll um, that details the day's missions. Because uh, usually there are multiple. Um, and today he, he doesn't have a scroll, though. Uh, and he says, "Howdy, everybody. How's everyone's day going?" Going good. I almost fought a dude at the noodle shop, but it's fine. I also had a weird interaction. There was this dude in all black with cigars. He was really pissed. I don't know what his problem was. Oh, you, okay. You shouldn't smoke. <laughs> I was, at, especially at your age. He sort of cl clicks his tongue in, in disappointment. I wasn't smoke. Okay. <laughs> Well, Suiko, how are you doing? Ready for a mission? Yes. So, okay. Well, all right. Well, in any case, uh, today uh, we are going to. Uh, well, I have a surprise for everyone. Uh, oh. A wonderful, wonderful, and possibly terrible surprise. I... Uh, but everyone has to guess what it is. Uh. The fan starts yipping frantically, to which I respond, Than wants to know if it's any doggy treats. Uh, there could be doggy treats involved, I don't know. Oh, fan gets even more excited. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Kenjiro, uh, he, he nods happily and he says, Suiko, you, you are, you're brighter than, than, uh, than people give you credit for. I it's R, it's a, let's not go that far. <laughs> I chuckle. <laughs> well, uh, in any case, soon so I uh, guessed it right off the mark. I was hoping I would, I would have a bit more of a you know fanfare and stuff. Uh, but, yep, we got our first C-rank mission. And by tradition, uh, we're going to go over to the Hokage's office. Uh, he hands out the first C-rank mission to every new squad, uh, the, the first C-rank. Uh, so... We'll get that august honor and privilege, he says. Hey, Dan starts yipping because he is very excited for these possible doggy treats. I get excited for one of them. Let's go. I also get excited. <laughs> All right. Um, as we're, you know what, as we're, as we're leaving, I kind of aside to Kendro and I'm like, hey, I want to, I want to talk to you later because you seem to have a bit of a reputation around town. <laughs> Just, just a little Kendra. side is really good. Uh, sure. Kendra just sort of grins at you. Um, here, I can switch you guys over to Kage's place. 
and we will change the music because this is not appropriate. Thoughtful or triumphant? Why not both? Thoughtful. I think thoughtful sounds good. Alright. Um, and I think you, you guys can. You got, yeah, you're up to it. I'll be honest. Um, you read a little and it's nothing to play with maybe. Excuse me. Alright. Um, the Hokage stands as you enter the door, or enter the room. He's a small man and seems almost buried under his formal white and red robes. But there's a quiet strength in his eyes as he regards your team levelly. After a moment, he turns to the figure to his right, a scarlet haired woman with a wide smile on her face, and gestures to your team. Welcome to the Hokage's mansion, she says enthusiastically, and congratulations on your promotion to Genya. The Hokage clears his throat, nods in agreement, and then sits. I bow. Thank you for this opportunity. Yes. I I, I, I proceed I proceed to look at Easy Toe and, and you know, follow suit. And Than is still yipping in the corner because he feels like he's deserving of dog treats at this point. Okay. Uh, Kenjiro, uh, his sort of somewhat goofy uh, demeanor is completely gone. Uh, he's just sort of standing very straight in, in sort of like a, like a military guy. Um, and he says, Squad Kenjiro reporting for duty, sir. The Hokage nods, and he uh, gives each of you a look. Uh, he says, Arata, uh, it's good to see you again. Um, I believe I, when I visited the Inuzuka compound uh, two years back, I believe I saw you then uh, in that uh, formal dinner. Do, do I remember this, or am I like... Um, yeah, it was a pretty big deal. Like, okay, okay. Was gathered, uh, including the Hokage. Um, I mean, it. you never poked him or anything. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I, I definitely just, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was pretty cool seeing you around. I was sad I didn't get to talk to you at all, but definitely made quite the entrance. The Hokage nods and he says, "Wish your mother and father my best when you next see them." <coughs> Which <coughs> he uh, looks on to Suiko and he says. Suika, <coughs> my, uh, my wife uh, tells me that you're acclimated well to your new, uh, your new compound. Oh, shit, I was uh, Uzumaki compound. Um, woo! Uh, Jisa uh, I'm Uzumaki, um, she sort of steps forward and, and uh, uh, she uh, shakes your hand. You've met her a few times. She's mm. the Hokage's wife. Um, uh, she's, been, uh, well, she's been pretty friendly to you as uh, far as uh, the Uzumaki clan members go. And she says, oh, so, I was so happy to hear that you had Goodness made gracious. this motion. I, I hear that you've uh, got quite the quite the punch behind your behind your, uh, your attacks. And I am like babbling because I'm so excited. Maybe she's my hero or something. <laughs> Um, she she is probably she's definitely one of the more prominent members of Uzumaki. She's not the head of the clan, uh, but her status as the Hokage's wife makes her definitely pretty high up there. Um, she's my uh, the Hokage uh, looks at Izuto and he says, "Izuto, a member of the Jitong clan. Uh, from <coughs> what I understand, uh, you live at the orphanage here in town." Yes, sir, I do. How's uh, Di how's the good Dai show doing? It's been too long since I visited him. We've been great. Uh, you know, lots of chores. Uh, just I just thank you for a place to stay. Since what happened to my parents. The Hokage nods and he sort of says, "It is the duty of our village to look out for those who are displaced by our actions." And he lets out a sigh and he says, "Very well, Jisa." And Jisa sort of steps forward and she starts reading from the scroll and she says, uh, um, right, so uh, your mission uh, is you're going to be going to uh, Yuki, um, which is a snow village up in the northern mountains. Uh, apparently there have been reports of uh, some strange goings, goings on uh, there. Uh, and, well, you guys are going to need to take care of it, whatever it is. And you sort of, yeah. Go on. yeah. I was going to say I sighed. I don't like the snow. It doesn't do well for my skin. <laughs> Kenjiro sort of elbows you. <laughs> uh, and she goes and she hands the scroll to Kenjiro. Uh, Kenjiro uh, gives a bow and he says, 
it will be done. Thank you for the, uh, the responsibility. The Hokage sort of looks at him a little coldly, uh, and he says, Very well. Dismissed. I um, bow and... At least I bow. Yes, I... You yeah. All... <laughs> yeah, I look at, I, I look at Izuto again. Yeah, bow. <laughs> Uh, Fallen. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, in any case, you guys meet um, outside of the Hokage's mansion. Uh, I'll just put you back there. Just kind of there. Um, Kendro, uh, he sort of studies the scroll as you guys were leaving the building. Um, and he says, uh, he sort of snorts and he says, Yep, just about what I expected. What is it, sir? Uh, this mission, uh, it's probably not going to be uh, as exciting as maybe you guys had hoped. Um, Yuki's kind of a remote, out-of-the-way place. It's a village with like 200 people or so. Uh, and they do ice fishing mostly. It's not really a very glamorous task. And the monster that they found, it hasn't even killed anyone. So it probably isn't that dangerous. It's probably just from, you know, people drunk or they saw something in the snow. I kind of, I kind of scoff, just like, oh, another breeze mission. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, at least I'm glad I haven't killed anyone. I feel like that's a positive note. But I am. Well, no, I mean, I, I'm not. You know, I don't want it to kill people, but I'm just saying <laughs> it probably isn't going to be as. You know, there are real monster missions, and monsters do typically kill people. So I understand. One of those. I'm just, I'm both excited and not excited for the snow. It doesn't do well with my sand, but I've also never seen snow before. There's not a lot of hidden sand. He says, well, no, I suppose there isn't. Well, you look to see, you'll get to have your fills of it. Uh, it's been a while since I've been to the northern mountains. It is quite cold up there, from what I recall. Um, I'll tell you what. All right. So, uh, everyone, uh, we'll go ahead and disperse. Go ahead and buy whatever equipment you think you might need on this coming mission, uh, and we'll meet back here at, at noon uh, to start uh, start heading out. Before uh, it's, uh, it's travel north, so uh, be sure to have enough rations and whatnot too. Sure. Before uh, before Kendra leaves, Thanatos goes and starts nudging him, yipping again, and I tell him, "Hey, uh, Than Than really needs to know if there's going to be treats, because if not, he feels very upset." Just uh, be Kendra, very upset. Um, he uh, sort of looks at down at Thanatos, uh, and he kind of glares at him for a second. <laughs> but then uh, Thanatos is good nature, just sort of wagging his tail, and Kendro, yes. uh, the scowl breaks, and he says, oh, fine, and he sort of flicks his wrist, and in his hand appears uh, a little dog and treat. Oh, heck uh, he yeah. In the air, uh, Thanatos catching it. Uh, yeah. He said, all right, <laughs> I don't have a ton of those, so <laughs> that's enough for now. Uh, Than Than is more than excited and content. All right. Well, in any case, unless you guys have any questions, I'll leave you to do your shopping. Uh, we'll meet at noon, uh, Northern Gate. Or actually, I guess it'd be Eastern Gate. There is no Northern Gate. All right. I'll see you then. Is he ready to buy anything? Any recommendations? He says, warm clothes, weapons if you need them, smoke bombs. Um, Whatever you think you might need, and can use. Ooh. <laughs> I, I think for, in, a, in a meta meta way, uh, the there are lists of like things that you can buy in the handbook. It's on it's on like chapter five, I think. Yeah, the chapter five is equipment. So uh, there's like a bunch of adventuring gear stuff that you can potentially buy if you want. Thirty-one. Um, so I'll let you guys go ahead and look at that real quick, because uh, I want you guys to be able to buy whatever you want before you head out. Yeah. And I'll be right back. Okay. Let's say we'll say my person already has a winter blanket, so like, I got that with like one of my things. Uh, mine does as well. We got that with the hammer. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of potential things that might be useful, so just just take yeah. a quick uh, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, squad, we should probably do this in a efficient matter. 
You should all buy the same thing. Well, uh, that's not like the worst idea, but I feel like one of us should go uh, get rations. One of us should go get food, and we should go get equipment. And equipment and weapons. Okay, I mean, I can go. Doesn't matter to me. I mean, I honestly, I don't really need any weapons because I don't either. I have a yeah, I have a blade yeah, thing. Yeah, have smoke bomb sounds nice. <laughs> Okay, I will. I can handle weapons. If y'all want to tell me things you want, I I will go buy them for the squad. Uh, I would like two smoke bombs. I would have my food iron in the last. Yeah, I have two right here for bombs and a smoke bomb. Two. All right, I'm back. Uh, oh no! Is there anything you guys would like to buy? Uh, we're just going for, I guess, some warm clothes and. Do any of us have a med kit? A what? A med kit? I don't oh, think I do. Yeah. Oh, you do? Who needs that? Just don't take damage. I guess all blood heals. Right, so are, are we are we all together during this? So it doesn't like we just kind of um, yeah. For, 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 for simplicity, um, so okay. Typically, ninja, ninja go to uh, Shisugi's uh, place to get like to get us. Okay, gotcha. Um, so she greets you, uh, and she says, "Oh, if it isn't uh, if it isn't uh, Kendra's squad, um, what can I get all of you?" We're going to a snow village. Uh, I I don't know what. You would usually get for this other than warm clothes. Do you have any recommendations? Um, she says, uh, I'd recommend uh, getting some glow rods if you haven't. It can get pretty dark. And it, 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 I think you'd be shocked as to how difficult it is to see uh, in a blizzard. Blizzards? Will we see those up there? <laughs> it isn't the time of year for them, but it's not impossible. Okay, I'm scared of the snow. I will get one of those. <laughs> All right. Um, I think it's. How much sure did it say? I think I think you have three hundred, and me and Marissa have two fifty right now because we all started at hundred. That sounds right. Yeah. Oh, okay, glow rod. Um, okay, it's, five, it's five Rio for each glow rod. Do you have an explorer's pack, Kevin? Because that comes with two glow rods, if you have one of those. Oh, did we ask Kendra how many days we're going to be gone? <laughs> uh, I he would have told you uh, it's about um, five days uh, travel more, uh, there and back, or just there, so ten days travel total. Um, but that you know, he doesn't know how long it will take to deal with the mission. So. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I have an explorer's pack, which comes with like rations, a thermos, two glow rods. Like I feel like my explorer's pack seems to have most of what I need. Um, I ask uh, Shisugi um, if she's you know like helped Inuzuka clan people before. Um, if there's anything she'd recommend for Thanatos, or if she thinks Thanatos would need anything. She says, well, if, if you can afford it and if you think that you can handle it, you could get a ration pill. If he, what, what exactly do you mean by if he can handle it? I mean, it's it's difficult to uh, for your metabolism to handle it. Um, it's it's uh, an edible pill that can supercharge uh, your body um, in terms of regeneration. Uh, it's It can be quite intense. Um, and it's fairly expensive. Gotcha. I look a little intimidated and I go ahead and say, I'm going to pass on that for now. Um, but I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Uh, aside from that, um, I would strongly recommend getting at least a blood pill or two. Um, that is mostly just used for healing. Uh, and it's it's not terribly dangerous. Okay. Uh, How much? Just... <laughs> gotcha. How much are your blood pills? Uh, for a normal blood pill, it's 75 Rio. Okay, I'll go ahead and cop two blood pills then. Okay. Yeah, I actually do all right, two so, uh, You can go ahead and add two blood pills to your inventory and take off 150 real. Cool. Um, 
you can see you can see the description of it in the thing. It's uh, as a bonus action, you can take the pill and it restores two d four plus two hit points. Okay, cool. Basically. Then when you or <laughs> Arthur, what did you say was going to be explorers back? Um, because <laughs> I have written explorers back, but I don't have. It. Uh, it's, all the, it's all the equipment. Um, yeah, you got a bedroll, blanket, a mess kit, two glow rods, a radio link, ten days of field rations, a thermos, and fifty feet of rope sealed inside a scroll. Yeah, I think I'm good. Because I have rations for both me and Thanatos. Yeah. Uh, any med kits? I'll just. I'll, that's all I'll get. I'll get some medkits. I'll say I got two blood pills. Um, med kits are a hundred Rio each. Um, you you really only need one of them because uh, they have five uses. Let's see. Um, oh, so there's two uses for one blood pill. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm just, uh, oh, never mind. Uh, I think there's only. Oh no, there are. Oh, okay. Hmm. Right. Uh, so you're getting a med kit. For, uh, for easy uh, no, I don't think I will actually. Okay. Um. Uh, Suiko, is there anything you'd like to buy? <laughs> the chili pe- uh, chili pepper bar. Too much money for a whole. Okay. Um, uh, I guess... One fifty. <laughs> all of my money. Half of my money. Oh. That's true. Yeah, I spent half my money on blood pills. <laughs> for one bomb. I maybe it saves us, you know. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna take the chili pepper bomb and uh, I, I guess rations, ration case, food, right? Um, you probably already have rations if you have like an explorer's pack. What what sort of pack do you have? We're gonna pass on that question because I don't know. Uh, you should have started out with. Let me check. I do. I am a little sad we can't have the music playing in the background because that would make this a vibe. You would have started with. <clears throat> Man, dude, I really oh, I inhaled oh, that water in the back. middle of trying to talk. What, what was your background? Let's see, there's. Oh, you you were a hard worker, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Lots of thinking. Yeah, you would have started with the martial art or explorer pack. So what we just say, what's that? What page are you? Um, this is page seventy-two. Uh, I think for the sake of simplicity, we should have the explorer's pack. Yeah, Explorer's Pack is his. Yeah, that's my story. Um, so that what comes with that is like a bed roll and, and a mushroom and stuff. Uh, and ten, 10 days worth of rations. Okay. Okay. Right. I just want my chili. Okay. Uh, so you're going to add one chili pepper bomb to your inventory and take off. Um, she uh, sort of. Uh, Sh- Shisugi uh, looks at you and she says. Uh, for for my wonderful Kunoichi here, um, only a hundred twenty-five real. Are you shitting me? This is why she's my favorite. <laughs> he says, "Uh, it's your first mission, um, and it sounds like, uh, well, it sounds like it's your first serious mission. So I I, I would feel bad if you came back and uh, you weren't uh, were injured or worse. So stay safe out there." <clears throat> you can also get two snow bombs. Sure. How much, how much is that? 
What a fantastic question. Okay, I, I can I can see I, I was on that. I was gonna say I'm gonna pick this out one hundred. Oh, actually, I'll take one. All right. Yeah. So uh, you can add one of those to your inventory and uh, take out one for you. All right. Um, Shisugi says, uh, "Anything else I can get you?" Or it looks like you're pretty well stocked up. That'll be it for me. Okay. Uh, with that, you guys, uh, unless you have anything else you'd like to do, you guys go ahead and meet Kendra in the square or in the eastern gate. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Bye, Shizugi. Uh, Bye, uh, Fan, Fan Yips and thanks. Puffing on her, uh, what do you call those things? Um, pipe. 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 Kendra said smoking's bad for you. <laughs> uh, she just gives you a glare. <laughs> <She's> a <laughs> bad joke, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you had to be there. <laughs> so, uh, with that, uh, Kendra meets you guys at the <clears throat> gate. Uh, he has a little. Uh, bit of a pack himself that you, you ha- he doesn't normally carry around one, but he has one for this mission. Um, he says, all right, all you guys have everything? Oh, Maybe. I'm good to go. Probably not, but I'm good to go. Fan yips and excitement, ready to, ready to go. All right, that's what I love to hear, that you have almost everything you need, Maybe. All right, well, off we go. Uh, and you guys begin uh, your journey to Yuki. Um, on the way, uh, you all uh, come across uh, on the road. Uh, well, I guess we can put up the world map here. If I upload it, I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. We stay prepped in this household. Oh, we do stay prepped. This looks cool. Uh, so if you can see yourselves in Konoha down this sort of bar. Mm-hmm. Um, and you make your way up uh, uh, crossing the uh, <coughs> forest as you move um, you're sort of headed to those northeastern mountains there uh, between the land of springs and the land of waves um, and on the way uh, you come across a uh, merchant caravan um, Kenjiro uh, oh, oh, where is sort of walks up to it, um, halting the travelers. Uh, and he sort of he glances back at you guys. And then he says to the guy at the head of the caravan, the caravan master, he says, Hey, old friend, uh, there's a toll here for passing. Uh, 500 Rio per cart. That's, wait, who, who says what to who? Uh, Kenjiro said to the caravan master that there is a toll here. Of 500 Rio per cart. Okay, I I look very confused at my uh, my fellow squad mates here. Um, could, I don't know what he's doing, but last time I thought what the right thing to do was, it was not the right thing, <laughs> and I'm not going to go against the sensei on this one. He has a plan. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of... Um... I guess my dumb ass goes up at least and let him see what I teach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Kenjiro, uh, he looks back at you and sort of glares at you. Uh, and he says, be quiet, underling. Your betters are talking here. <coughs> he looks back at the caravan master and sort of ha- holds out a hand. The caravan master looks kind of uh, very confused and frightened. Uh, he sort of rummages inside of uh, his, uh, a pouch, and he pulls out a couple of stacks of bills, and he puts them in Kenjiro's hand. And he sort of looks back at you guys. Can I smack Kenjiro's hand? Don't do that shit. Don't do that. I stop right. you. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll say I'm going to give Suiko a chance here. Go ahead and make an athletics check, uh, Suiko. <laughs> okay. Who does nothing? <laughs> Uh, plus six something. If this succeeds, I'll just pre-tell you me and Thanatos are just stunned in shock at what is going on right now. We're <laughs> totally lost. I am not in this. <laughs> Specifically. Okay. 15? 15? That's concerning. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, you you smack his hand, uh, oh, and he goes God. with a flut flutter in the air. Uh, um, and Kenjiro uh, looks at you uh, with a big grin, and he says, "Wow, I gotta admit, I was not expecting that." <laughs> Neither was I. <laughs> I'm uh, surprised you let me succeed with that. <laughs> uh, the traveling, the, the caravan master sort of snorts and he says, all right, Kenjiro, what's what's going on here, buddy? And uh, Kenjiro uh, leans down and picks up the bills uh, and he hands them back to the caravan master. And he says, uh, sorry, Mr. Zuki. Uh, I just wanted to, I, these are my new uh, Genny and I wanted to see what they'd do. And... Uh, <laughs> The caravan master sort of shakes his head a little annoyed, and he says, "All right, uh, well, uh, best, best, best of luck to all of you." He says to the Genin, and he sort of glares at uh, Kenjiro, and he says, "Next time I see you in the village, uh, you, you're gonna give me, uh, you're gonna pay for my drinks uh, for this little stunt here." And Kenjiro just sort of nods um, happily and waves as the caravan uh, passes everyone by. Um, What's the point of that, Kenjiro? <laughs> Uh, Kenjiro, I agree. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, and he, wait, what, what did you say? No, we just agreed with yeah, that. We, we agree. Like, what? okay. Um, just like, what's going on? Kenjiro uh, looks at you three. Cheers to music again. Um, and he says, uh, "So, uh, Izuto Arata." Cool with uh, with randomly uh, stealing from merchants, are we? Uh, okay, listen. <laughs> One, I've been on the road a long time. I'm an orphan. It wasn't easy, okay? When you do those types of stunts, they always negotiate. He didn't negotiate. He just gave it to you. Something was up, and that's weird. Also, you're my sensei, and I will trust you and be behind you 100% of the time. Okay, so I just figured you had a plan, or he, you knew he was a bandit, something like that. That was my thought process. What's Granted, now that I see what it does, I'm sorry. Yeah, as as soon as I hear uh, Izuto say that he thought it was a bandit, I immediately agreed, and I'd say, yeah, I thought that something bad was going on, and you were trying to get ready to stop it. Okay, um, all right. I find Izuto's uh, explanation a little more convincing than Arata is going to be honest here. Swear. <laughs> That's it, uh, Izuto. I appreciate your confidence, uh, but you should never give anyone blind loyalty. Okay, I, I kid you, I was just confused because last time I like, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. Yep. Never give blind loyalty. Noted. Listen, I mean, when it comes to serious stuff, I, I, I expect the truth. But. If that that said, if I'm doing something that you think is messed up, I, I don't want you to hold back. On my account, I'm I'm only human, you know. I make mistakes too sometimes. That's fair. Yes, sir. Thank you for. That's actually really nice. Thank you. <coughs> and he says, uh, "Suiko, um, I don't have a reward for you. If Arata had uh, done well, I would have given Thanatos a treat. But I'm <laughs> guessing you don't want a doggy treat." Thanatos yeah. looks at me angrily, and I give the treat to Thanatos as my. He nods and he, he smiles and he says, "Yeah, sure." And he uh, flicks you, flicks you the treat. Thanatos Than- Than- is more than excited to receive this treat and is happy, and I am very annoyed, looking looking off into the distance, irritated at what has perspired here. Uh, well, uh, with that, um, your first day of travel comes to an end. Uh, the following days pass without incident. Um, you come across the occasional traveler, um, but as you get further and further north, uh, you find fewer and fewer. You begin to take sort of these uh, mountain roads, essentially, that, that are more switchbacky, um, that head up uh, into these uh, white peaks um, to the northeast. Um, as you approach, uh, on the, I'll say probably the third day or so, you're getting higher and higher into the mountains. And you do find um, more and more snow on the ground. Uh, some of it permafrost and some of it, um, it clearly more recently fallen. Uh, Izuto, uh, I suppose this is your first time seeing snow. <laughs> um, what, what is Izuto's reaction uh, to, to the new snow? Uh, this new... Guys, I can't 
I can't mentally handle this. I, I can't feel the ground and the ground <laughs> moves, but I'm not moving it. And I don't know how to handle this. I feel like something's going to come underneath me. But also at the same time, it's so pretty. I just kind of, I, I look at him and laugh. Um, and I just say, hey, you'll get used to it. It is what it is. And Thanatos is off in the distance, kind of following behind us, but just running around, like rolling around in the snow, just having a grand old time. Yeah, so Thanatos likes this. Now. Yes, Thanatos having a good time. Right. Um, Kenjiro, he, he sort of he sort of hears all this, and he says, "Yeah, so listen, uh, I came up with an idea. Um, I don't know if uh, this if you'd be interested or not, because it will take a fair amount of work here, and I suppose we're we're supposed to be focusing on the mission. But um, you know how you can use a <coughs> oh my chopper God, to stick to walls and whatnot. <clears throat> I cannot walls things like that. Yes, yes, of course." All right, we'll watch this. And he sort of uh, he steps off of the road, and the road is is clearly pretty well maintained. There's not a ton of snow on it, um, but off the road, obviously, there's a fair amount of snow. Mm -hmm. And he steps on the snow, and you hear like this the lightest crunch, and his foot barely descends at all into the snow, um, and he almost looks like he's walking on top of it. Uh, and he sort of takes a couple more steps, and he's just walking like it would be, like it would be a normal uh, you know normal floor. His feet not uh, sinking into the snow. He says, "Same principle, although a lot harder." Uh, you think you're up for the challenge? Oh, I, I immediately, I immediately yeah. try it. I uh, immediately jump uh, onto the snow. I immediately I mean, run over there and try to jump in, <laughs> or okay. jump on, I suppose. Um, all right, so both of you can make uh, chalker control checks. Okay. Hopefully, we hit a double digit. It's what you'd like to believe. Hey, I got a plus one to this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is rough out here. Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, so Arata, you you jump. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. That would be. It's definitely more than twenty-two. It was plus six. But I don't... okay. Um. All right. So. Uh, Arata, you sort of jump into the snow and like cause a, you know, basically a bunch of snow go flying everywhere. As you That's fair. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, easy to, uh, you, you jump on the snow and you do uh, sink into a little bit just, just from the momentum, but you start sort of trying to step outside of it and you sink a lot more than, than Kenjiro was, um, but you do feel like you're not, you, you would have sunk a lot more had you not been focusing on the, uh, the top or emitting from the heels of your feet. Um, Suiko, uh, Somewhat similar story, although you're still sinking a fair amount. Um, but you get you feel like you, you if with some practice you could definitely get the hang of this. Um, you, you get the basics at least. Um, so, uh, with that, uh, Kenjiro says, "All right, uh, tell you what, about for every ten paces or so on the road, uh, go ahead and take like three or four paces off of the road." Uh, trying out this technique, and uh, that'll be your training as we're as we're headed north here. Sound like a plan? Sound yeah. Good. Just just curious. Are you wanting uh, Thanatos to try this as well? Because he he does have chakra, but you know. He says, uh, "Yeah, I think Thanatos could probably do this too. I think he should he, he should give it a shot." Better than I could. I'll tell you. Uh, so yeah, you can go ahead and roll a, a chalk control check for Than. For Than, okay. Yeah, Than Than runs up because he he thinks we're playing in the snow, so he runs up and realizes what's happening. All right, uh, I think he has plus. Yeah, he's plus one. Dude, this is rough out here. Yeah, Than does, but he basically treats it more like playing. More like play, okay? Yeah. <laughs> doing it either <laughs> he, j he jumps into the hole that i created in the snow <laughs> yeah. all right um so uh, as you guys continue uh going north um you do uh try to do some training uh izuto clearly uh, get in the hang of it pretty quickly um suiko not too far behind although it's still taking a bit of time and Arata <laughs> and Thanatos, unfortunately, not, not doing very well. Arata uh, just keeps playing in the snow. I try to explain it to him, but he just loves playing in it. As you uh, continue on, um, towards dusk that day, uh, you approach a strange, uh, sort of shadowy uh, area.
on the path, and uh, it's it's quite high elevation here, and even the the road is sort of frozen over a little bit with a bit of frost. Um, and uh, Kenjiro holds up a hand and he says, "Hold up, something's up ahead." I hold up. Yeah, I I also hold up. <laughs> I, I tell Than to stop playing in the snow very, very sternly, and he listens. Um, Kendra says, all right, well, this is as good a time as any. Uh, who wants to volunteer to go on a little scouting expedition? Ooh, I immediately raise my hand, because I, I and I proceed to go like, oh, this is one of my specialties. Uh, all right, right. Yeah, this is one of my specialties. All right, uh, go ahead and Get an eye on what's going on up there. Actually, yeah, I'm sorry, you guys would be more like around the bend. Here. He says, uh, all right, go ahead and head up, figure out what's going on up ahead on the road. All right. Um, I go ahead. Uh, do I just explain what I do here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell me how you... Uh, yeah, so I definitely, I obviously call Finn with me. Uh, I make my way into the trees, um, like way back here. Okay. Um, and then I kind of tell Than to chill out uh, closer to the left side, kind of see what he can. Um, I move ahead a little bit, um, and I'm just okay. kind of scouting it from this this region over here. Okay. Especially because I'm good uh, in like I'll, my. Uh, you you and Than just can go 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 uh, make stealth checks. Okay. Um, this stuff is like plus six. I'm good at this. I swear. All right. So we're both we're both making stealth checks. Yeah. Okay. This will be me. All right. And then this will be Than. I, I rolled pretty high. You you really gotta do me like this. Um. Okay. So Than, when it says skills stealth plus five, do I also then add dexterity with that? So it's like plus seven total, or is it just a no. flat plus five? No, it's just a uh, flat plus five. Okay. Because right. NPC stat blocks are a little different. Um, okay. Let's go what you need to roll the skills. Gotcha. We literally both rolled 15. This is ridiculous. All right. Um, so you, you do a pretty good job of being stealthy. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, you see uh, this guy, and there are these carts that are sort of parked on the side of, like, this little hollow here uh, in the in the hill. Mm -hmm. um, and he has this, this big, like, crossbow in his hand. Uh, okay. And he's, like, peering into the trees. And it, his eyes sort of widen, and he... And he says they're here again and he takes a shot oh here we go is this at me or thanatos this would be at you i think okay uh, with well uh and it, it just goes off like <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he says oh crap uh, and he sort of uh, puts his crossbow down and he starts like reloading it um with this like crank basically it's, it's taking it, it's taking quite a while you you quickly get the sense that this is not like a trained warrior that you're dealing with uh, yeah Okay, gotcha. Um, I you can make a perception check if you'd like to, real quick. Okay. Uh, so a little closer. All right. Uh, plus six. Dude, I am falling Dude, apart. Sure. Uh, um, yeah, like I said, you see these these uh, uh, carts that are sort of driven off the side of the road, mm -hmm. uh, sort of parked. Do uh, I notice this stuff on the ground or no? Uh, no, you do not. Not okay. Okay. <laughs> um, you, you see that there are some creatures sort of up on the hill too with these like big horns. Um, okay. But aside from that, you don't really see much. You just see this one guy. Uh, okay. Right. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I definitely. Um, I tell Than to kind of like stick around, like, you know, this upper area um, as I start to run away. Um, and I try to run back through the trees to, if not stay hidden, at least stay behind cover um, and then come back to the, to the squad. Okay, um, you, you do that easily enough. Like you, you head out of there before this guy's a chance to reload. Okay. Um, Kenjiro says, "I heard someone yelling up there. What, what's going on?" <laughs> yeah, uh, I saw one dude, a bunch of caravans, and some animals. And he even tried to shoot at me with his uh, big crossbow he had, but he was honestly quite unsuccessful. It was a little embarrassing. All right, what's your take on these guys? Uh, is this what, what, what's the what's the story here? Um, I couldn't really see anything inside the caravans, to be honest, so I'm not sure what they're doing, but clearly they're trying to protect or hide something. 
Okay. Uh, in terms of danger level, you said that this guy had a crossbow, but he wasn't very good at using it. No, he missed me by a mile. It wasn't even close. All right. Uh, you think it's safe for the squad to proceed? I, I 100% think we could take this guy, and even if they have even if they have a few in there, they seem pretty untrained. All right. In that case, I'll take the lead. Uh, let's see. Squad formation. Uh, I'll have Suiko at my back. Uh, Arata and Thanatos on Suiko's flanks and Izuto in the back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Shkapoo. Oh, Shkapoo. <laughs> oh, I don't know where we're stopping. I oh, I just know that I'm I just know that I'm too behind him. <laughs> You see the guy uh, pop out his head, and he shoots a crossbow at Kendra. He's gonna like mad twenty this pro. I'm good. <laughs> I hate this. Okay. I think that does fit. Oh, dude, he's gonna be like, you literally lied to me. <laughs> I swear he missed me. Oh no, he fired on the crossbow. Oh, thank um, so goodness. <laughs> Kenjiro, uh, Kenjiro sort of uh, snatches the crossbow bolt out of the air. Okay. Um, and sort of lets it fall. Key and he shit. Sort of puts up a hand and he says, Hail friends, uh, nothing nothing <laughs> to worry about here. We're, we're friendly. Um, he takes a step forward and he will roll a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> this is either going to be really bad or really okay. Okay. We uh, like to see that. We like to see our, that. Not our last session. That's good. Yeah, so <laughs> oh, crap. Every, everybody step back. Everybody get back. Um and uh he says uh the merchant sort of calms down as he realizes that someone's talking to him. And he sort of steps forward uh and he calls and he says, Guys, I think we have some friendlies here. And some other uh, people sort of um, materialize out of the carts and out of the surrounding area. Um, he says, uh, hi there, uh, who are you guys? And Kendra sort of bows and he says, well, uh, Suiko? And he sort of steps aside, gesturing. What am I supposed to explain to <laughs> Kendra um, <over> <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, I'm going to charm the pants off of these losers. Um... Hey, oh, friends, um, we mean no harm just passing through. Uh, who are you? It says, we're, we're merchants. We're, we came from the land of uh, tea. We were, we were headed up to Yuki, uh, and now we're headed back. But listen, are, are you guys like mercenaries or, or fighters? I might stop right there. Did you say land of tea? Because let me tell you all, uh, you and me, same thing from the land of tea. We are basically cousins. You guys are from there too. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're, we're in a bad situation here. Uh, yokai came and they attacked our caravan. Oh my gosh. Don't we, uh, we are capable passerby, so we could help you out if you want. I kind of I whispered to Izuto, I'm like, isn't Yuiko like the place we're going or like the people we're going to see? I, I don't know. <laughs> um, Yuki is the name of the Yuki. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This guy was referring to Yokai. Yokai. Uh, gosh, do, you know, do you know what Yokai is, Arata? <laughs> no <laughs> shot. <laughs> we can roll. We can roll uh, knowledge checks there. So this would be. Uh, I don't know. What what are the different intelligence uh, skills? Uh, uh yeah. History, investigation, nature, and ninjutsu. ninjutsu. So this would probably be nature, I guess. Um, okay. So you three can go ahead and roll nature checks. <laughs> Why do I only roll high when it's like not that serious of a situation? Mm -hmm. Oh, oops, I didn't think. Oh, no. oh, but no. you did what? No, you're good. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, so Izuto, you are aware of Yokai. 
they're essentially uh, chakra entities um, that manifest uh, usually when there's some sort of imbalance in nature. Um, and they typically try to uh, steal chakra from people um, and take it into a bill and try to correct whatever imbalance it is. They're, they're usually regarded more as a nuisance more than anything. Uh, they can be dangerous, though. Um, they're definitely not something that you would like casually try to try to deal with, uh, at least for a normal person. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. They're basically, uh, you know, you know the the clan with the bugs. It's like spirits, yes. but okay. like that. Okay. Yeah. That makes a like, lot more sense than what I yeah, thought. They're not like the biggest threat, but mm -hmm. like it's it's not a walk in the park either. You know what I mean? Noted. And I guess um, okay uh, the merchant says so uh, could you guys help us out there were two caravan guards um, one of them got taken away to the east and the other to the west uh, the yokai they seem to be mostly based in the west but some of them are to the east too uh, uh, Andrew looks back at the, and he says Izuto what's the best uh, strategy here uh, can you repeat where they where they were? One was to the west. Um, or the like... merchant says, uh, "Well, we had two caravan guards, and one of them got taken in each direction. Uh, most of the yokai, yokai were attacking from the west, though. Although there were a couple from the east." And they each got taken in each direction. Yeah, one got taken in each direction. Okay. Uh, I would suggest. Mm -hmm. Um. Splitting up is not the worst idea. I think, uh, Kedger, you should choose one of us. I don't know which one you're going to choose. Um, but we should go to the west, and then the, the two others should go to the east. I think that's a, that's a good plan. Kendra grins, and he says, well, uh, you got the right idea. Um, but I'll be going to the west alone. I'm not going to split up uh, the party equally. Um, I can handle Yokai. Uh, Are you sure? And I say that in a joking manner. <laughs> I think I can handle it. Um, I'd be, I, I think with the three, well, the four of you, I think you should be able to handle whatever is to the east. Um, and I think we do need to split up, or else one of those caravan guards might uh, might suffer uh, because what we decide to go with our full strength one way and not the other. Sounds All right, good, teach. sounds good. So we go. You want to tell the group, uh, the the merchants, that we've got this handled. I told the group of merchants a very comfy grin. Seem relieved. Um, and Kenjiro uh, says, All right, I'll be headed to the west. Um, I'll let you guys, uh, with your tracker and Thanatos, uh, figure out where these get, where these yokai are coming from. Uh, listen, uh, things to know about yokai. Um, uh, Izuto had it mostly right. Uh, if you see that, like, if there's something obvious that's causing uh, them to manifest, um, try to deal with it. Uh, but don't put too much of a priority on it. Uh, rescuing the caravan guard, I'd say, is the main objective here. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kenjiro, do attacks work on them? Ninjutsu, he taijutsu? Nods. He nods and says, yeah, when they manifest, they are physical beings for the most part. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that would have been awkward. No, you, you should be fine. Uh, just be careful. Uh, keep in mind, um, you know, if you need to, you can take a short rest and uh, gain back some of your uh, your, your strength. Uh, if you're dealing with multiple fights in a row, that's that's normally a good idea. Gotcha, Understood, sir. All right. Uh, best of luck. I'll bye see you bye. guys. Later. Good luck. He said and he uh, walks along the snow, um, you know, great uh, smoothly since he's able to uh, manifest himself on it. <laughs> you all head uh, to the east. Uh, and oh, I suppose before he leaves, he says, all right, uh, just in case it matters, uh, Arata, you're the one in charge here. You're the one who's able to track most easily. So it makes sense for you to be in charge. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would have picked me too, so it's understandable. Right. I went to Kendro and I told him not to rob him. 
Kenjiro says, uh, no promises. It's off. Oh, God. Um, all right, so uh, Arata, you are in charge of your group for the moment. Uh, what would you like to uh, do? Uh, yeah, I tell everyone, uh, let's start heading that way. Um, I will keep Than a couple steps ahead since he's got the best nose here. Um, and as soon as he, you know, senses any danger, he will be sure to bark at me and let me know. And okay. then we'll keep we'll keep me and Suiko in the front, Izuto in the back. Kind of a similar vibe to what we were doing going up earlier. Okay. Um, so you're going to be following Thanatos trying to follow the caravan guard scent? Is that how you're... Yes. Okay. Yeah, actually, oh, before we leave, I ask them if they have a, like a thing of his so we know what the scent is. Um, one of the merchants nods and he says, yeah, we have, we have some of his pack here. Uh, and he hands you, well, actually, he tosses you an item. Um, okay. Because across the chakra seals. Yes, of course, of course, of uh, course. Which uh, you do notice, I suppose, having stood there for quite a while. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I grab it, or I catch it, and I, I, you know, hold it to Than so he can sniff it, get a good idea, and then I, you know, toss it back to him, and I say, "Don't worry, we'll we'll get your guy back." Uh, and they they nod gratefully. Um, okay. Uh, since you have, since he has the scent now, I'll say go ahead and make a survival check with advantage for for Thanatos. Thanatos. Okay. Uh, survival. Oh, you might have some sort of ability related to this too. I I don't remember. Survival or... is wisdom. Is wisdom plus one. His skills are perception and stealth. Okay. Um. Oh, he has on the hunt while hunting for a target, and the dog can add its master's wisdom modifier to their perception check. Oh. Okay. I'll, I'll say. I mean, normally this would be more of a survival check, um, but I'll say we can make it a perception check though. So yeah, go ahead and. Oh, exactly. Do perception. Okay. So we with your, with your modifier or whatever. Yeah. So it's plus four and then plus mine. Bro, he better go crazy. So we just uh, You said it's perception? Yeah. Oh, but it's just my wisdom. So I don't like my perception bonus doesn't matter, right? Uh well so it would be actually it would be your perception, um, basically. Oh okay. since since it's using your modifier and your proficiency bonuses. Okay, same. gotcha. Because it says it, it adds it to his perception check. Okay, oh, gotcha. It adds his perception check. Yeah, no. it says add its master's wisdom modifier to their perception check. Okay, so yeah, so it's your wisdom plus hit whatever his perception is. Okay, so, cool. So it'd be, it'd be huge. Because he, yeah. he has four perception and I have six perception. All right, uh, Thanatos quickly picks up the scent. Um, despite it being a, a little old, a little decayed in the snow, um, he, he picks up it, he picks it up pretty fast and as you sort of uh, get closer and closer to this trail you eventually see that this pretty obvious like where a large uh, object or person has been dragged through through, through the snow um, by uh, beings that aren't leaving foot, footprints uh, disturbing you know um, as you're making your way through I'll have all of you go ahead and make uh, chakra control checks to sort of see how well you're handling your, your new uh, <laughs> ability, such as it is. Here I'll we go it. again. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, chakra control is constitution. Yeah. All right. Let's, be a seat. Let's go. I stay falling in the snow, bro. Ah, How do I go from being really good to just all the way? Uh, I mean, you're still doing okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, having to maintain it over a distance is sort of uh, straining. A bit. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. I realized okay. I can click Thanatos' name, which will make this easier. Uh, Suiko, do you want to roll? Are you uh, talking to me, right? Chuck. Yes. So I have a question. Does this, I mean, I guess it still does affect me, but since I have my ignore difficult terrain, does that affect any of this right now? Or no, because this is like, it's not necessarily difficult terrain. It's like a whole, it's a different thing. Yeah, I, I would say this probably do, it does not apply okay. to this. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, Suiko um, surprisingly does the, the best out of anyone. Um, she's sort of confidently uh, maintaining her chakra as uh, in, in her feet, uh, staying on top of the snow. Um, all right. Uh, after about, uh, I don't know, uh, probably about an hour or so, um, you guys come across a strange area Ooh. 
and I think mm. I made this vlog before E. I maybe I didn't though. I was gonna say I see everything right now. No, that's fine. Um, that's weird. I thought I well anyway. Um, <laughs> you guys uh are coming across through this like little canyon here. Um, when Thanatos uh. Let's out a, a yelp as this being appears in front of you. And sorry, you guys can arrange yourselves how you want. I think I think you're something like that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That'd be it. Uh, as uh, this creature appears in front of you, uh, this shadowy figure, um, it doesn't have like an obvious. Uh, it's sort of like floating in the air almost, with just this little tail of shadow um, beneath it, and extending from one of its arms is this uh, shadowy sword-like object. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and roll initiative. Yes, sir. Change. There we go. I'm ready to be very bottom as per usual. Oh, now I roll an 18. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, does Thanatos get an initiative, like, bonus? Um, it would be his dexterity. Dexterity, okay. <laughs> Dude, I, I roll high at just the, the most random times. That's the last. I stay going first. <laughs> Sorry, what what did Arata get? Uh, twenty one. Oh, uh, twenty one. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys all rolled pretty high? Um, no, this is a good fight. I'm going to fight. I'll be. I'll be high. Um, Arata, you are up first. As this cre this creature, it's it's clearly as hostile intent. It's sort of trying to like yes. hover with you guys. Uh, yeah, I, all right, cool. Um, I kind of like side, side note to my people. Like, are y'all ready to fight? They're like, are y'all you know, ready to go? Yes, sir. We missed the battle. Oh. A very fantastic battle. <laughs> to which I give him an evil eye, but proceed anyway. Um, all right. Yeah. Um, I very immediately, um, so I definitely feel like both me and, uh, my dog are probably faster than this floating thing. Um, so I definitely immediately run up. Um, let's see, we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, um, 30, I guess we'll just line up. Um, and I, let's oh. see. All right. Now it's going to be really hard to fight. I'll tell you what. <laughs> hey, you're next though, though. Come on, right, there we go. Nice. Yeah, it's not Daniel Bullfog. All right. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I sprint up um, and I go ahead and pull out my knuckle blades and I go for a big swing. All right. Go for it. All right. Is it a D? Is it a D4? I don't remember. Or no, no I, I got to make sure I hit first. That's right. Um. Okay, so I can do I can do my dexterity correct for hitting. So you, dexterity and proficiency, um, because you're proficient with the weapon. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, plus six. Ooh. Okay. Um, that does hit. Uh, okay. As uh, punch through this guy's shadowy form, a bit of it sort of rips off. So go ahead and roll, uh, roll damage. Okay. Do you remember what knuckle blades damage is? Do I need um, to find it? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll check. I think it's 1d6, but I could be wrong. Okay. So I know it was, it was like 1d something. Uh, yeah, knuckle blades are 1d6. Alright. Sick. <laughs> okay. Um, and then you, you add your dexterity to it as well. Um, so that would be oh, five. Plus three. Yeah, five. Uh, so you uh, tear away a significant portion of this guy's shadowy form. Um, 
All right, uh, next up is Thanatos. All right, Thanatos um, follows up. Let me see, how long does, let me check something real quick. The stream and clone last 10 minutes. Okay. Um, he goes ahead and actually activates a uh, beast human clone, which kind of turns him into a copy of me, but this will be important later. So he has that for 10 minutes. Uh, All right. So is, is that his action? Uh, or he will, yes, he'll kind of move up, but then he will go ahead and activate that. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, uh, in that case, uh, next up is Suiko. Sorry, how many walking spaces do we have within the square panel? I believe you have uh, 30. 30. Oh, I believe 30. you can move 35. I was the only one that can move 35. Yeah. And your first diagonal is 5. Every other diagonal is 10. Be, what, 15 minutes, right? 10. Yeah, 25. So you, you can make it easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can punch him. Yeah, um, I want to do one of my attacks. I moved 15 feet towards him, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, great. Um, I want to do the Moonlight High, the Taijutsu attack. Okay. Um, can you explain it? Um, um, yeah, sure. Please. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> he, he said, please do yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Um, it costs five chakra, and it says, as part of the activation of this juicy, you must come 15 feet towards the target. Make a leaping, spinning, double roundhouse kick. <laughs> Tinkle downward kick. Driving the target into the ground. Oh, very cool. All right. Um, so is that just a uh, an attack roll? Or... Oh, we have two Taijutsu who attacks on the target. Okay. So uh, go ahead and roll two Taijutsu attacks then. Do I just roll a regular forward for that? Um, no, so this is like your attack roll to hit. Um, so uh, so it's probably uh, your strength plus your proficiency. So d20 plus uh, strength and proficiency. Mm -hmm. it, it, whatever your, yeah, your attack roll is. It's been two weeks. Um, sorry, what was the standard attack bonus? Uh, it... Strength plus proficiency. Strength mod plus proficiency. It's probably plus five or plus six. Like, what's your what's your strength bonus at? Uh, plus three and proficiency bonus is three. Yeah, so you'll do a d20 plus six. Yep, so the, fir the first attack hits. Mm. And Easy attack. peasy. So you deal your normal damage, which is, I think, 1d4, or 1d6 plus 3. I, I don't know which. Um, do, do you have it written down what your normal damage is? Sorry, under, where would I find that on borders? The sheet? I think it's, if you might have written it down under attacks, which is like in the center of the page, and well, like center bottom. Okay, well, I have it actually. Um, it's apparently 1d6 uh, when you bring it on. Since you're a so So it would be 1d6 plus 3 normally, but with this special thing, it's um, plus 1d6 in addition to that. So this would be 3, since you hit twice, uh, you do 3d6 plus 6. 
<laughs> Dude, if it doesn't die... Oh, wait. I think it has to die, right? 3d6 plus 6, yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, even with minimum damage. Yeah, you're... Wait, you're... You, you should roll, though. You should roll just for, just for the fun. Oh, <laughs> Go crazy on this, man. So you can do 3d6 and then plus 6. 3d6 and then plus 6. Yeah. Yeah, so slash r, yeah. So what Hudson typed. Thank you, Hudson. Oh, sorry. Okay, so yeah, so you go uh, overkill the spirit basically into the ground, um, and it disappears in a cloud of, uh, of smoke. Um, it lets out the like creepy sigh as, as it dissipates, um, ending combat at least for the moment. Uh, so oh. it appears that you guys have found your target. Um, go ahead and, and let me know how you proceed. Uh, yeah, which way does Thanatos smell the target right now? Up or to the right? Uh, he can go ahead and make another perception check. Okay. Um, with the, with the, uh, your bonus or whatever it was. Oh, the on the hunt, okay. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so the, the target appears to be to the right. Okay. Cool, then we will definitely proceed in like our normal formation we had going. So okay. th Than leading the charge, me and Suiko kind of tag teaming uh, next to each other, and then Than leading the way. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and let me reveal some stuff. Okay. And again, if this matters, Than does look like me. He's just running around on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> There's two erratas right now. So you sort of you, you you guys can sort of see what you can see from your perspective. Yes. Yeah. Um. The sort they they don't appear to have noticed you yet. Ooh. Okay. Um. Do we have the ability to like climb on these rocks to our top and bottom here? Either one. Um, like, do either of them look climbable? Yes. Uh. You will have to make an athletic an athletics check though, because it doesn't appear to be terribly stable. Okay. Um. I look at Suiko. Um, and I ask if she wants to, um, climb on the, the, these ones above her to like ambush that guy, the top guy. And then I'm going to, me and Than are going to go down to ambush the bottom guy and easy toe could just hit through the, run it up mid, if you will. <laughs> I do like that. All right. Well, it, if Suiko, if you want to climb the wall, it'll be on a flash track. Are you, are you cool with that? All right, bet. Cool. So do me, Suiko, and Dan all need to do a athletics check? Athletics check. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're, you're climbing the southern. Yeah, me and Dan are climbing the southern one. She's climbing northern. All right. All right. Yeah. So this uh, is me. Suiko easily makes it up the cliff. Right. I will catch Dan if he falls. <laughs> <laughs> but not Arata. Okay. Hey, hey, I... No, no, Arata made it. Made I was gonna say, I'm 19, I'm good. Um, this is strength, so he gets plus one. And yes, if he did fail, I would only catch him. Okay, Than, Than got a 13. Okay, um, that's good enough. Uh, Sweet. It, it, it's, he, he, there, there's like a couple points where... Uh, <laughs> it's iffy. Him, but he... he, he jumps easily. I was going to say, since, since I'm up there, can I just catch it? You know, I can help him up a little bit. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, okay. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and move where you want to move. Okay, uh, so if they haven't noticed us, can we, like, is there like a sneak attack bonus thing that we can do? Um, if you can make it to Seven. them uh, and without them noticing, yeah. Um, Okay, uh, I'm then I'm definitely. Do I have better stealth or does my dog? Okay, we both have good stealth. Um, I'm gonna go ahead then and try to sneak up on this dude down here at the bottom um, okay. to catch him. All right. Um, so go ahead and move. Uh, so go ahead and make a stealth check for Arata. 
Uh, stealth, I am proficient. Ugh. Okay. Um, let me check this passive for something. The good old eight. Yeah. Um, so. He, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you um he sees you up on the cliff and he sort of points his sword at you and he sort of you hear this like loud hissing noise as uh his fellows appear to sort of move uh, no. oh this could be good though this could be good uh does he notice than or is than still hidden for the most part no he, he just appears to have noticed you okay all right um then i'm actually going to have than try to like jump down and sneak attack him as Wait, well. Can I yell at them? <laughs> okay, this is fine too. <laughs> um, sure. Yeah, okay. you can yell. Okay, and I'm, I am okay with being combat. Okay. So I'll say, I'll, I'll have Thanatos go ahead and roll a self check with advantage since Izuto is helping him with, with the distraction. Okay. Oh, well, I wanted to say something to them more than oh, sure. like to... Uh, Arata, sweet, sweet go. If you can hear me, bring them, funnel them in. All right, I see two of them right now. I can't really see the third guy, I'm guessing. But see, you can see him from a distance. Okay, there's it's three of them. Up. There's three of them right now. Bring them towards this funnel. They see you. Obviously, they saw you, Arata. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just try to funnel them in. I got a plan. All right, I yell, "Good call." Um. And I, I kind of tell Than to back up and stay hidden um, so then they, they don't see Than. And I just start running across the top here um, to drag him that way, try to get him to follow me. Okay. All right. Um, with with your sort of uh, yelling and clearly making your presence known and in a place where they can reach you, yes. um, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and return to combat. Combat. Okay. Um, Do we reroll initiative? Uh, I was gonna just have you guys keep your initiatives. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, these guys are good for their initiatives. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, my twenty-one beats it. <laughs> Get out of my game. <laughs> Arata stays first in initiative. <laughs> So Sui, Sui, well, I guess we'll start at the top. So Arata, you're up. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and just like step back one, but I'm just going to kind of chill on top and try to get them to keep following more. Um, is there any kind of passive thing I could do up here that's useful to the team? Like any kind of like scouting anything out or anything? I mean, I'd imagine oh. not really. I mean, not that I can think of. Okay, uh, yeah. You can think of something, that's fine. I'll just hang out and I'll just kind of yell at the swordsmen, like just try, trying to, you know, incentivize them to come towards me, uh, continue funneling this way. Okay. Uh, all right, next up is this <laughs> guy. So he goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and he uh, thrusts his sword at you, easy to. Uh, and he does hit. Uh, wait, I don't think that's the right damage. Bro, I was like 14 damage. You <laughs> just got rocked. <laughs> I died. Oh, uh, yeah. It's supposed to be 1d6 plus 3. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's I like, bro, you just got better. I can still die. You could still die. I almost did. Oh, okay. Uh, eight, eight damage. Um, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, these guys, they don't do damage to. They do damage to your chakra first before your HP. <laughs> um, so you take eight, eight points of chakra damage. <laughs> My plan is still going up the window. <laughs> Uh, this is going well. Uh, is Thanatos. Alright, uh, so Thanatos is still hidden, and I'm going to try to like sneak attack, you know, kind of walk around here and sneak attack my guy. Um, okay. 
Do I stealth um, roll that? So he kind of has to run down the cliff a little bit. Yes, uh, he can jump down. Uh, you can go ahead and make a stealth check, though. Okay. Um, I'll say with advantage, since this guy's already engaged in there. Okay. Um, so stealth, he gets five. And then, oh, so do it twice. Oh, thank goodness we have advantage, you know what I mean? Advantage is a beautiful thing. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he uh, uh, as the uh, chaos of melee combat um, is distracting this guy, he does manage to do a stealth attack. So okay. you, you can go and make your attack roll with advantage. Sweet. Uh, uh, I wish it was errata, because I have like an ability with attacking with advantage. These are the things we hate to see. Um, plus... And I do my dexterity... Do I do like a proficiency thing with Than or no? Like it's just the like dex bonus to hit. It, didn't I include the attack on the sheet? It's like bite. There is bite. Like, oh, well, do I? Well, do I have to make sure I hit? Oh, I, am I already hitting? No, you still have to roll to hit. You have to do okay. more roll damage since you succeeded on your well, is my roll to hit just with my dexterity? No, it's it's dexterity plus uh, proficiency. Plus proficiency, okay. I don't know how that works with him sometimes because his proficiency is weird with being a dog. So. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Years. Okay, gotcha. To go and roll, roll again. It's it's Ugh. Okay. Is that enough? Um, yeah, you do hit. Totally love uh, to see it. Go and roll, roll damage. All right, so I'm a D. Oh wait, bite is plus four to hit. So was I supposed to? Does that mean I add plus four to my like d twenty roll usually? Um yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it would have hit. Yeah. I all right. I know for the future. All right. So r d four plus one. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> does piercing damage matter against these guys? Uh, it it just it does normal damage. Okay. Uh, so two points of damage. All right. Um, You're welcome, easy to <laughs> Next up is the other swordsman. There's one, two, three. Not uh, Thanos. Go ahead and attack Thanatos. No. Uh, ten to hit. What's what's Thanatos' AC? Uh, fifteen. Okay, so he Thanatos nimbly dodges out of the way. Nice. Um, Suiko, you're up next. I run down and click the one in front of the Sure. Also, you're kind of coming from in front here, so you, you will not have a stealth advantage, unfortunately. <laughs> I go ahead and roll the hit. Uh, that hits. Uh, so you're roll damage. They must have a low AC. I, I do the same thing. Eight plus six. Uh, yeah, one d six plus plus three. God, she hits wrong. <laughs> yeah, she does. One d six plus. Right. Yeah, but just it's your unarmed damage from Taijutsu Specialist plus your strength modifier. That's where that's coming from. Yeah. Eight points of damage. Uh, Alright, next up is Easy Toe. Okay. Um, Alright. Alright, from behind Suiko and. Uh, my centipede that's around me is now completely has deformed into just the iron sand. It's hovering above my head. Um, it sharpens into into points again, like it was with my fight with Arata. Um, and I use dust particle drizzle, uh, and that is a cone of thirty feet. And I get to choose my targets, and my target would be obviously the two swordsmen. Okay. Although I do yell to Suiko and Tan to get out of the way. I guess just for added effect. Alright, sure. Alright, uh, so 
Uh, I have to roll some saves, right? Yeah, it's um, must succeed in dexterity saving throw. Oh. For each people. The correct thing to target. Uh, right. Uh, what's your what's your saving? What's your DC for your Nijutsu? It should be on your uh, on your like uh, jutsu sheet. It should say ninjutsu saving throw DC or something like that. Uh, ninjutsu saving throw DC is fourteen. Okay, so they both failed. Then one of them got a ten, one of them got a thirteen. So uh, they take full damage. Okay, and they also and as are taking two people piercing, two people her, and they're both. I guess they're both poisoned because they didn't fail to save. Yeah, they are immune to poison, unfortunately. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> but don't roll the damage, though. So those, those, yeah. Hey, I think you're killing the front guy, so that's <laughs> that's good. It's a step in the right direction. Two, I guess it's four D four. Fucking a. That's. Oh, could be worse. Yeah. Um, all right, well, uh, the first one disintegrates under your barrage of these metal uh, metal needles. Um, the other one uh, takes some damage, um, but uh, is still up. Um, is there anything else that you like to do? Um, no, I'm still here. Okay. Uh, the other one, which looks a little different from the uh, swordsman that we come across, he begins to move forward. Uh, and he sort of has this like staff like a shadowy staff like thing and he sort of points it at you three uh, in the narrow valley there um actually he will point at uh izuto uh, go ahead and make a wisdom <laughs> save yep wisdom save bro bro they scared of your centipede <laughs> Okay, uh, that does. Um, you feel uh, for a moment like the the walls of the canyon begin to like sort of cl- collapse around you, or it feels that way. You feel very claustrophobic, and you feel very frightened um, of this creature before you. you. Feel like it's going to, to kill you, uh, but you shake off this uh, genjutsu effect, um, and you are not frightened. Uh, so that's his turn. Uh, Arata, you're up next. All right. Um, okay. Uh, I go ahead and you like myself down here. Um, I think so. He's got ten health. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to attack him with my thing. So, question: I have a like. Chakra blow ability. So for two chakra, I can add a d6 to a weapon attack. Um, do I have to spin that before I try to hit it, or can I wait till to see if I hit it to like do that? Um, yeah. So it should say on the thing like uh, this is chakra blow. You said yes. It should say like activated. Uh, let's see description as part of the action used to cast this jutsu you must make a melee weapon attack against one creature within the jutsu's range otherwise the jutsu fails so that means that you do have to you know you have to spend the point and after you spend the point you have to try to make an attack then i try to make that okay i'm gonna go ahead and do it because i would like to assure i kill this guy so i'll go ahead and spend two of my chakra there uh so as long as it succeeds i get a bonus d6 um and then i'm gonna try to Slap them in the face with my chakra blade or my uh, knuckle blade. All right, um, 20 plus six. Okay, okay, that definitely hits. I was gonna so, feel it's gonna feel very bad if that missed. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll, roll your uh, chakra blow damage. All right, so the chakra blow damage will be three. Then oh well, I mean, I mean, you can just roll. Add it, yeah. I realized as I did it, but here we are. <laughs> so 
So it's, it's 1d6 plus 3 uh, in addition to that. Yeah. And d4 plus 1. Uh, yeah. d6. Wait, what's my weapon attack? I'm sorry. Uh, it's 1d6 plus 3. Plus 3, okay. The 1d6 is the weapon damage. Only. 8 and plus 3, 11. We love to see okay. it. Oh, that, that was a good uh, good use of the chakra blow. Definitely value. Um, all right. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no. I'm good. All right. Next up is Thanatos. All right. Um, Thane is a little concerned at the look of this guy. Um, yeah, he'll he'll run up and try to bite him. Okay. Um, all right, so he will run up um, and then bite, plus four to hit, one target, cool. All right, and then I forgot, if it's plus four to hit, is that added after everything else as well? Um, if it's plus four to hit, then it's 1d20 plus four. Plus four, okay. okay. Um, that does hit. Oh, nice. All right, so then d4 plus one. Excuse me. All right, bite him for four. All right. Thanatos takes a nice little chonker out of his floating tail. Um, uh, next up is Suika. <laughs> come, help, come help the gang, please. Mm -hmm. oh, easy peasy. Yep, that hits. I uh, go and roll damage. Uh, that is not damage. That is uh, an attack roll. Um, I mean, we could count it as damage, though, right? <laughs> damage is one d six plus three. Yeah. This could not kill. There is a world. No. Well, not this yeah. world, though. <laughs> uh, the strange uh, yokai disappears underneath Sumiko's fist, disintegrating with this uh, creepy sort of sighing noise. Um, with that, uh, the immediate vicinity appears to be clear of enemies. Okay. Pause the combat music. Um, <laughs> what would you guys like to do? Um, definitely run up. I mean, because I'm assuming Than smell, smells him yeah. in there. Yeah. Um, so you see, um, this figure on the ground. Um, he's he's just like laying on the ground, somewhat peacefully. He has this like weird mask around his face and this like uh, battle armor on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we definitely run in and check him out. At least I do. I'm assuming. I'm assuming I'm followed. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, we do. You can make a medicine check if you'd like to to see what his current state is. Can we all do this, or does one of us have to do this? Because who, who's best um, at this? I mean, someone can help you. If um, I do have plus three to medicine, actually. All right, does someone does someone want to help me? I'm plus three on it. Yeah. I'm not helping. All right, what are you, Kevin? What are you, sorry, uh, Izuto? Um, uh, I was going to say someone helping you. you, you just go ahead and roll it with advantage. Oh, okay, gotcha. Are are you better than me at this easy toe? No. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Griff is not twenty then. Hey, how about the first number though? <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, between you and Easy Toe, you sort of ch check him out thoroughly, um, sort of taking off his face mask. Uh, he appears to be sleeping, um, but he, he kind of like rumbles and like shivers a little bit every couple like seconds. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost like he's having some sort of nightmare. Uh, he looks his he looks um, kind of drained too. His face is pale, uh, and he's like sweating a little bit underneath his armor. Um, yeah, so he, he doesn't look like he's sick though. He just looks like he's uh, sort of exhausted, kind of worn out. I, um, obviously, his chakra has been taken away. That was, yeah, that was that was my assumption. Much to give. 
So <laughs> I vote not me. Do I'll we vote. do we have an ability to give him chakras? Is this something we can do? Um, you can make a chakra control check if you'd like uh, to try to sort of jumpstart him, so to speak. Uh, would it would it take my chakra away? This action? Um, no, I would say that you would just be giving a little bit uh, just to get hit him out of whatever he's in. Okay, and it's a what kind of check? Yeah, someone else do chakra control. Must be nice being a max chakra. Can't relate. <laughs> hey, Suiko, um, you should be at six chakra, right? Because you did the the moon, the moon thing earlier. The did not mean to call you out. <laughs> <laughs> so if you click on your person, you can just click on the eleven and then do like minus minus five, I think, or whatever it was the the attack cost. So never mind. We are all halfway on chakra. Halfway must be nice. <laughs> if I didn't get attacked, I would have been halfway. Uh, maybe just don't get hit next time. You, know yeah, what I mean? but, you sort of put your hands on him, uh, and you. you uh, Can I help with this? Can I like kind of? I guess it doesn't matter. We already rolled. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I mean, this would be more of a solo, solo thing anyway. Okay. Uh, you put put it on his chest, and uh, you try to insert a little bit of ch chakra into his network, uh, and his eyes sort of flutter open after a moment. And he sort of lets out like a big sigh and he like blinks and he says, Doesn't look like I'm in uh, heaven or hell. <laughs> well, it doesn't appear so. Welcome back to the land of the living. He sort of rolls his shoulders and then sits up and he says, uh, Who on earth are you guys? We came across your comrades uh, in the caravan. They said you got taken away from here. And uh, we just came to help. Just a couple of. They survived the attack then, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you were taken away, and uh, one of your comrades was as well. Yeah, that's, that's too bad. Uh, my comrade, do you know if he's doing okay? Uh, we have a very capable ninja uh, taking care of him. I wouldn't be too worried if I were you. I would not be too worried, yeah. Are, are you, you guys are ninja? Uh, yeah. And then I point to the headband. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, there you go. From the Leaf Forge, no less. Wow. Yeah, I'm uh, just here on a good old mission. A little younger than I would have expected, but, you know, I, I take what I can get. Uh, you guys fought through those yokai. You did a better job than me and than we did. Yes, sir. Don't worry, we get the young thing a lot. <laughs> well, uh, not much I can offer you in terms of thanks. I, I suppose the merchants uh, that we were guarding, they, they might be a little more inclined to, to part with some of their wares, maybe. So good, just as long as you're safe. Do you need help getting back to the caravan? Well, I don't know where I am right now, so I don't know how <laughs> far. The so can we we can get you back. Oh, we got we got a scout dog over here. We're good. All right. Well, listen, did you take care of all the yokai around here? Uh, just the ones in this general vicinity. Yeah, we haven't checked out everywhere so far. There was a fork in the road we did not take earlier. All right, so uh, listen, uh, if you guys are willing, uh, I need a bit of a break here to sort of catch my breath, but we could go take care of the rest of the yokai. They, they, they'll probably try to attack the caravan if we don't. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. A rest. He nods. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, need, I need a rest for sure. All right, uh, so do you guys, would you guys like to take a short rest? Uh yes. Yeah. Before we do, could I acknowledge the fact that there's just a chest? Here? Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna mention that as well. Be like, do we see this chest sitting in the room? Yep, it is, it is sort of sitting on the platform there. It's not actually sitting on the platform. It's sort of half buried in the dirt, uh, and a bit of snow is sort of around it, but it's still pretty obvious. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I ask the guy. You know, it's like, hey, do you do you know what's going on with that chest over there? He shakes his head. He says, "That's not from the caravan." That looks, that looks old. Probably whatever this place was. Uh, probably belongs to whoever owns this place. Does it look break openable? Um, you can make a perception check. This is what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. 
12, how we feel it. <laughs> Thank goodness for being good at perception. Um, it, it does have a lock on it, uh, but the lock, it, it looks kind of corroded and uh, not very uh, not very firm. It's clearly an old, this, this chest has been sitting in the snow for a very long time. Sure. I, I look over at uh, Suiko and I say, are we uh, still still got still got some muscles left in there? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make an attack roll. Guys, you, you do realize I can turn full metal. I mean, as she's kicking it, just a stack sniper. Yeah, uh, with a solid kick. Um, so much so more fun though. Takes off the lock, uh, uh, just, just sort of destroying the mechanism by which it was locked. Um, <laughs> the chest, you can now open the chest if you would like. Yeah, um, I go ahead and open up the chest. What do we What do we find? Okay. Uh, inside, um, there's a bunch of like old, uh, basically fur clothes. Um, as you rummage through, uh, at the very bottom, there's a uh, beneath all the furs. Uh, there's this pendant. Um, with a silver chain and a uh, sapphire gemstone um, at the center of the, the pendant. Right. Uh, I pick it up and uh, do we notice anything else weird about it, or is that is that just like is that all we're getting knowledge wise about it right now? Um, you can make. Uh, I suppose this would be a ninjutsu check. Okay. I. Uh... I look at I look at my friends and I say, "Do y'all want to see if you can sense anything on this? Because ninjutsu checks are not good for me." <laughs> I can try. All right, I hand I hand it over to Izuto. Okay. Uh, you can make a, a ninjutsu check. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Um. Yeah, you definitely feel like there there's been some chakra imbued in that gemstone. Uh, it's clearly some sort of enchanted item, um, but you can't really get a sense of what the enchantment might be. Uh, all right, guys. <laughs> There's something here. If we could just rest, I can try again after the rest. I'm kind of chakraed out from the uh, yokai hit. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Just hold on to it for now. And worst case, we can also just bring it back to Kinjiro and see if he can get anything on it. Am I the one holding on to this? I'm fine with you yep. holding on to it. Yeah, you go for it. Go for okay. it. Uh, you can put sapphire pendant uh, in your okay. Um So uh, you guys uh, sort of gather around the uh, wounded uh, caravan guard uh, as you all take a short rest. Um, so the way short rests work is uh, you should have some hit die um, uh, that you have listed on your character sheet. Yes. It'd be basically for like Arata, it'd be like 1d8. For mm -hmm. Suiko, I think it's 1d12. For Izuto, I think it's 1d8 or 1d6 or something like that. Um, and you can roll those things uh, to restore your missing chakra or missing HP, whatever the case may be. So like my chakra die being a D8, I can just roll that? Uh, yes. And you add your constitution to it as well. Um, oh, so nice. for you, I mean, you'd be basically guaranteed to restore all of your uh, chakra. Oh, uh, yeah, um, fair enough. Same thing for Thanatos. Um, you would roll a uh, D8 as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, so he is back. I'll be right back. You guys can go ahead and do that and restore your chakra. Alright. Oh, wait, he said plus constitution. So he's giving awesome. Oh, plus constitution. Cool. Alright, I'm back to full. And you know what the best part is? Stan still looks like a copy of me. <laughs> It is also the first time y'all are seeing this, which I would find to be funny. I could just see y'all being like, what? Why? Why? What? <laughs> what's, what's, what's going on over there? I guess I should probably ask him how much time like passes when we walk around, because it's like kind of important. All right, I'm back. Hey, um, so quick question, um, because I did like the beast human clone thing with Thanatos. How much time is a short rest? Because that only lasts for 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, a short rest is 10 minutes. Okay, cool. Thanatos is no longer in the mode. Now I know. Yeah, that was really cool what you showed us, though. <laughs> yeah, I did a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> so just for future reference, uh, 
Suiko. Um, so you have a different uh, chakra die and a hit point die. Your hit point die is a d12. Your chakra die, I think, is a d6. So if you were restoring chakra, you'd roll a d6 and then add, add, uh, add your constitution to that. Um, no, that's fine. It, I mean, you would have probably gotten uh, fully restored anyway. I'll say, I think anything except a nat one. <laughs> So, uh, the samurai says, or the caravan guard, uh, he says, well, uh, I'm feeling a little bit better now. I think I can fight. Um, I'll let you guys take the lead, though. Uh, just let me know where you want me. I don't want to get, get uh, you know, disrupt your formation here. Yeah, uh, I tell him. I say, yeah, I tell him to just go ahead and stay behind Misuiko and Thanatos, but in front of Izuto. Hey, could you guard me? I have a bad problem with hand to hand <laughs> combat. I'm like not great at it. So actually, as yeah, as not the, my uh, forte. Could you be my bodyguard for like the next says, fortunate future? I, I make my living as a guard, so yes, I I think I can manage that. I Definitely. brought you back, so you know, <laughs> one for one. <laughs> Just one time for the real one. All right, and then I say we start uh, running our way up north here. Okay. Uh, so we're kind of. Um, okay, so we will reveal a little bit. All right. Do we see this guy, or is he kind of behind? Like, is he inside this castle thing? Um, so the castle thing is is ra a raised thing. So on the outside is this like stone fence, uh, and there okay. are these raised platforms on the inside. Um, so yeah, you do see him floating on top of it. Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah. So I mean, I would I would say I'd definitely uh, continue moving forward here. Um, okay. Just till we can get a little more info. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, please, um, if you could not. <laughs> I look at Easy Toe and I say, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Um, from there, you can sort of see the outside of this like uh, ruined castle or fort-like structure here. Um, and you see a number of yokai. Uh, one of them sort of in the entrance area, sort of blocking it. Uh, and another one sort of floating on top of the walls here. Okay. Uh, guys, before we... We're not in combat, right? No, not yet. Okay. Before we continue, let me uh, try to roll a DC on this <laughs> pendant again. I did sense something from it. I wonder if it's the uh, imbalance pendant. Oh, Ooh, true. Yeah. Good call. It's okay. yeah, Big brain on. coming out of Izuto. Okay. Let's see if it's. <laughs> Okay. I was just tired. So, uh, yeah, um, you get the sense uh, that this pendant um, allows you to restore a little bit of your chakra uh, in a pinch. Do I know exactly how much or not really? Uh, yes. Uh, you roll, it is uh, um, 2d4 plus 2. Uh, nice. And it's as a bonus action that you can do this. Whoever's wearing it. Uh, all right, I I will consult with you, but I think we know which one of us out of the four of us uses the most chakra. Yeah. No. After you explain it, I definitely say you you should hold on to that. Uh, right, feels so like feels like a good Izuto kind of item there. All right, so I put it on me. I don't okay. use it though. Um, I'll be okay with dirty. He's just blinged out. He's truly um, got the eyes. So I, I put a quick description of it in the chat. Yep, I'm uh, talking it right now. All right. Well, what would you guys like to do? Um, I turn to the peeps. Um, and I say I think we should. Um, are these walls climbable? Actually, let me ask that first, real quick. Uh, they're climbable, but you can sort of see that there's a gap between the the sort of stone fence okay. and the great platform, um, which could be a little bit dangerous to to jump. Um, all right. Um, I ask everyone, obviously, before just charging in there, but I say, do we want to try to storm the swordsman and then get some more info from there? 
Uh, so what I do know is the little guy with the staff does Genjutsu. Mm -hmm. Be wary of that. Okay. Be clear. Uh, I did sense the walls coming around me. Got a little flustered, but due to my chakra control, sure. Due to my chakra control, I got out of it. Uh, but just be careful with the Genjutsu. Make sure everybody keeps their eyes out. That goes for you too, Fan. <laughs> he yips. Uh, yips in agreement. But, I mean, unless, I'll be honest, Suiko, Arta, we're not a stealthy squad. Let's all be honest with ourselves. So I if, we am. Go th- if we want to go through the front door, we'll go through the front door. I can be. I I I kind of mumble to myself. I can be stealthy if I want to, well, but I <laughs> but I uh, I continue going through nonetheless. All right, okay. so we we charge forward as far as we can till combat's engaged. You know. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and place you. Um, you get uh considerably closer to the gate uh, before the swordsman notices. Um, but not obviously all the way there. Yes. Uh, all right. So we will go ahead and roll some initiatives here. That's I haven't been anything but last. Uh, <laughs> I'll just let you guys keep your initiatives. Uh, and I'm so pissed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just for just this doesn't count, but just for my my um, just to know. Okay, cool. I would have been last. That's so right. funny. <laughs> That, just making there, sure there's, I was. A to, there's a way to automate it. I think you do like slash like a roller or something like that, and then do that, and then it automatically updates it. But without that, I have to like do it myself. It just kind of. Oh works. no, you're good. I was just making sure I would have still been last, even if I we had to roll again. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, to be fair, I'm All the bunch of molds to six. All right, uh, first up is Arata. So we will change it to combat. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and run up to my boy here, uh, my main man Stan. Um, we were tight like that. Um, and I'm just gonna off rip. Go ahead and go for a, a chakra blow. Um, okay. See what we can hit for here. All right. So on a one, two, six. Nice. That's a hit. Cool. All right. So it is. Try was D six, right? Yeah. D six plus. The weapon is a D six plus three, correct? Uh. Yes, so okay. it would be 2d6 plus 3, I guess, with your chakra blow. Alright. Nine. That's respectful. Um, so I right. swing my blade right through the gut. Uh, His yeah, ghost gut. <laughs> yeah, the significant portion of the shadowy essence uh, dissipates, uh, but he's still up. Uh, next up is Thanatos. Alright. Um, he will run up, but before... Doing anything, he is gonna go ahead and use a beast human clone, like last time. Um, so, uh, you guys watch as Antos turns into a uh, four-legged <laughs> Arata. <laughs> um, oh, oh, beast human clone's a bonus action. Nice. I didn't realize this last time. Okay, so then I can bite. Yeah, okay, cool. Here. So he's gonna go ahead and bite. Um, so we'll switch on, Oof. Come on, bud. What's what's the AC here? Am I am I big whiffing? Uh, yeah. So unfortunately, on that one, um, the uh, creature does manage to dodge out of the way. The yokai okay. uh, dodges out of the way in time. All right, Thanatos goes for a bite and misses. This is unfortunate. Uh, Suiko is up next. I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick, guys. Oh no, can I just kick him? <laughs> 
Uh, sure. Go ahead and make an attack roll. It's an FDD plus six, correct? Mm-hmm. All right, that does hit. D6, right? Yep, D6 plus 3, which is your kind of Alright, um, that's a max roll there. Uh, so, beneath the kick, uh, the Yokai Swordsman disappears. Um, and that will be Suiko's turn. Uh, next up, uh, the shadow on the wall sort of floats over here. Um, and he sort of points uh, his staff at Suiko, and a bolt of shadowy energy emits from it. Uh, 11 to hit. I don't think that hits Suiko. Um, Suiko, what, what's your armor class? Your AC? Uh, 13. I love that I'm slowly okay. learning all uh, so the thirteen and uh, stuff. So an 11 will miss. Um, so Suiko dodges out of the way. Suiko's too speedy. Uh, easy to. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm just next to them. Okay. Um, can I see further? Yeah, a little bit. Uh,. <laughs> Well, guys, I'm going to do the smart thing here, and if you don't need help, I'll set you up with some shields. Otherwise, I don't want to be the first one to go into the combat again. And you know what? That sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, I guess I could use uh, dash or whatever it is to slyly move up, but uh, no. No, never mind. I lied. I'm staying. <laughs> okay. Um, you can't stay on... You can't end your turn on uh, the go space. Um, all right. Yeah. Next up, the dance space. <laughs> well, no, you can't end it off. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Bro, let my bro, dog go. Let me move dog, <laughs> Leave my dog out of this. Uh, there we go. Samurai runs up uh, and he will um, prepare his action to attack uh, if anything gets close to him. Um, next up is this guy on the wall here. So he's one, two. Um, so you go ahead and dashes up to here. Bro, chillax. Uh, you see another shadow appear on the wall over here. Um, Yay. You can't, you can't really see uh, anyone that well, uh, except for the samurai at the end there. The samurai says, it's another one of those things, and the shadow points his staff at him. And oh, shit. Uh, the same guy <laughs> shakes his head and he says, uh, "I was trying to do something in my mind, but but I, I'm okay. I'm good." Ooh, okay. Uh, next up is Arata. Um, all right, I'm going to run. Um, how much does this guy? Fourteen. Uh, I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll run another chalk and blow. Okay. All right. Actually, I'm going to, like, go here before I do my chocobo. So I can try to get some more vision while I slap him. Uh, 20 plus 6. All she. Okay, does 10 hit? Uh, 10 does hit, yeah. Sweet, okay. 2d6 plus 3. Slap him for 9. I infuse okay. my knuckle blades with some chakra once more and slap them in the gut. All right, solid hit. Uh, next up is Thantos. All right. Uh, same thing. He's gonna run up here, um, kind of opposite corner, and then go for a bite. Okay. Oh, poop. That will not hit. Than, I I immediately yell at Than, and I'm like, "Hey, I love you. We're gonna have to work on the aiming." Uh, 
All right. Next up is uh, Suiko. <laughs> she just comes in with the setup with all these blowing blows. I know. I, I like to set Suiko up for these these final hits. She's here to throw the motions for at this point. <laughs> Hey, we got you here for those de- that defense if we need it. Hey, if y'all ever get weak, y'all can. Uh, so if that hits, go ahead and roll damage. Okay, well, that'll do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it disappears under your, sto- uh, under your killing blow. Um, you do still have whatever movement you have left, so I think you have five, five more spaces of movement if you'd like to move forward. Oh, I forget you can move after Hilly. Yep, you can. How do you do the little thing with the arrow? If you hold right click. Right click. Wait, no, right click means you have. No, so like left click on your person, and then you can right click, and then it'll show you like the arrow. There's Is that what you're talking about? Ruler option on the side. I think it was the ruler. The other one doesn't work. Uh, I, yeah, I think. Press like Q or yeah, if you press Q, at least that's what it is for me. If you click on yourself and then press Q, it'll show you. Um, anyway, all right, go on, so, I'll figure it up. Yeah, next up is uh, the shadow here. Um, he'll go ahead and go here. Uh, and uh, you watch his uh, his staff sort of starts floating before him, and it sort of disappears and uh, splits into a bunch of these little daggers. Uh, and they sort of go in a barrage towards Subiko. Oh. Um, Can I? Uh, which oh, will no, it's only for me. Dang it. Uh, so that's going to be 11 points of uh, Whew. damage. Um, damage. Uh, so Suiko is now at 4 HP. Uh, next up is Izuto. You watch as the, the, the shadowy daggers reform before the, the, uh, the yokai. Uh, yeah, go ahead and eat Izuto. Uh. Um. Okay, she's at four fifteen. Oh, the death shield does a reaction. Um, I guess it doesn't matter now. Uh, all right, I set up a again. My centipede will half of it will be deform and form a shield around Suiko. Okay. He's thinking, he's thinking. Can she bite herself to heal? That's exactly what I was wondering. <laughs> Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I'd have to look at the, look at the GC. Okay, because the problem is with the dust shield, if you move out of where you are, it ends. And I feel like retreating would be the better option here. Um, since her turn's coming up next, huh? Um, or... It's, it's a bit of a waste till her turn. Actually, yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, I'll set up, I'll set up a dust shield. Okay. Uh, it will just be adding uh, 15 hit points. That's nice. Okay. Um, so a, a, a cloud of iron dust uh, surrounds Suiko, um, protecting her from future attacks. Future attacks. Uh, all right. Uh, the samurai uh, runs up in front of Izuto and sort of prepares to defend him against anything that might be coming for him. This is nice. You should, Arata, you should be like him. Uh, the other shadow here um, steps forward, and uh, seeing its partner, it uh, forms some shadowy daggers as well. 
and he will go ahead and target. Uh, he'll go ahead and target Suiko as well. <laughs> Fifteen shield, looking pretty juicy right about now. Uh, and the uh, each of the daggers sort of dissipates against the swirling uh, iron mass uh, cloud around her, uh, with no effect. Oh, fans uh, now one. What, what are their attacks? <laughs> What's that? That's, a, that's kind of a, what. A, what are their attacks? Are their attacks just kind of um, like any nature? They're just damage. Honestly. They're technically uh, psychic damage. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, th- these are genjutsu attacks. Okay. You'd be aware of that or not? But uh, Arata, you're up next. All right. Um. The only thing I can't do what I wanted to do because I read the ability a little closer and I'm now fathoming. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to go 5, 10. Can I like step in the same thing as him just to walk past him and then hit him kind of thing? Like, like can I like move over here kind of thing or no? Uh, no, you'd have to be climbing up the walls next to him in order to do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just try to slap him then. Okay. Um, with a good old um, chakra blow. <laughs> so that's right. a bit of a go-to. Yeah, if, it, if, it, if it isn't broke. Hey, all of my other stuff is a little expensive chakra-wise, and it's just, you know, we're going to have to wait till a little later in the experience to go for those. Um, all right, that'll hit. Ten. Noise. All right, so slash R, T6, plus three. Oh my, come on now. Come on, son. Not your best rolls, but still, still, still decent damage. A rough day for rolls. Um, it has been. Next, next up is Thanatos. Um, before that, I'm going to go ahead and move out of the way. Because um, I had a few moves, because I know Than's going to need room to get over here. So. Okay. Um, so then he's going to go ahead and... One, two, three, four. He's going to step up here as well. Go for a good old bite. Okay. Let's see if he successfully. I I try to cheer him on positively since we've managed to miss both of our previous fights. And during your fight with me. And during the fight with you as well. <laughs> hey, he figures hey, out. Hey, he figures out how to fight. Okay. What are, what are the odds of kills? Not very high, but here we are. That would have been hyped though. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Yeah. All right. Um, and that was, let me see, 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. I'm going to move Thanatos here before I end my turn. So as Thanatos moves away oh, uh, shit. <laughs> without disengaging, uh, the yokai attempts to throw some of the shadowy daggers at Thanatos. Uh, however, Thanatos nimbly dodges out of the way. Yes, sir. Man's is too quick. Uh, so, Suiko, you're up next. I, I believe you're currently in a cloud of iron dust. So I don't know what the situation is with that, but <laughs> it's your turn. Suiko, I would strongly suggest <laughs> that that shield will stay in that spot. But if you go any... F- you can either bank it on going forward or retreat. I, I yell, do you have any heals? Do you have any heals? I do not uh, what's Does the it name of the healing thing that you have? Yeah. I was gonna say, does it cost you chakra? Because then maybe. Age sixty-two. Oh. <laughs> With that attitude, <laughs> I bite myself and drink my own blood. Uh, it does specifically say. Oh no, no. Yeah, it says other than yourself. Oh, so you can't. Yeah, so yeah. Hey, I, I, we tried. We tried, and that's what matters. Can I throw an item to someone? Um. Yeah, although I would probably make them make a dex uh, check. To catch it. Both of us, or just Suiko? Uh, I would say just Suiko. Okay, what's your dexterity, Suiko? It's what? Not good. Okay. I feel less inclined to throw you an item now. Guys, let's just 
Take this easy. We can. We don't have to throw. We don't have to throw things. <laughs> uh, all right. So, Suiko, is, is there anything that you'd like to do? Okay. What's up? Am I able to talk to Easy Toe or am yeah. I on my own? Yeah, you, yeah, you can talk to Easy Toe. I didn't know if the swirling sand was in the way. Um, are you guys going to help me take this guy down? Yes, right. obviously. <laughs> you are looking very hurt, though. <laughs> Should Listen, I do you're... I stay here or move away? I would recommend you stay there. <laughs> And don't move. <laughs> <laughs> I will park myself right here. And uh, or else you you could run away a very long distance. But I would suggest stay there. All right. Um. So next up uh, is the yokai uh, shadow there, and he here we go. Uh, his perception. He's, he's he was looking at Suiko before. Um, but now his uh, gaze sort of turns to Izuto, uh, and he attempts to throw some of the daggers at Izuto. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, both. Oh, okay. so so tough. he does hit, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. As a reaction, I can I set up a death shield over me? Uh, sure. Oh. Sm- <laughs> I, yeah, I would suggest that. That's <laughs> uh, so what does that do? Uh, so it's 15 points, the same thing. Uh, so it would be whatever. This is a jutsu that you can use as a reaction. Right? Uh, yes, it specifically says one action or reaction. One action or okay. one reaction. All right, sounds good. Then you were not allowed to take damage. That's why I said I, I could have used it on Suiko, but it didn't. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, my shield takes it. <laughs> the other half of my <laughs> my centerpiece disintegrates and turns into a shield around me now. Uh, oh, 15, okay. 15 hit points the same, so the shield has six left on mine. Okay. Uh, sounds good. Um, all right. Next up is Easy Toe. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll use my my penna. Big brain. Uh, so, 2d4 plus 2, 1 to the Yep. Hey. Perfectly yeah. <laughs> big highs and big lows. Yes, sir. Uh, so, I recover 7. Yeah. yeah, so you're, you would be at 10. Alright. Um, Alright, some of the shield starts... Uh, the, the the black shield that was around me starts getting a little grayer from the hit, and some of the sand falls down. Uh, it slowly picks up again, and... Uh, Thrust itself at the yokai on the left here. With okay. The best part of your All right. So this is a deck save, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, deck save. All right. Um, these guys are slightly better at deck saves. However, that will still fail. Yes, sir. So go and roll your damage. People I think it doesn't matter because it's for poison if they fail. <laughs> well, he takes half the damage, I think, if he succeeds. Oh, does he? I think so. Uh, or half as much damage as it's a Objects? Oh, objects. That's right. Objects. Two, three, four. Yeah, uh, that'll do it. So uh, this yokai disappears under a, a hail of uh, of iron uh, iron uh, arrows or darts or whatever. Yes, sir. 
All right. Uh, the samurai is up next, and he says, uh, I'm not much good here. I'm going to go help out your buddy. And he walks up. <laughs> Sounds good, comrade. I over here. Sounds good, comrade. Uh, oh! In a single slicing blow. Yes, um, sir. Destroys the, the last year. Bro, he there. comes in clutch when we need him. He really does. He did nothing up to that point, but you know what? He closed it out. <laughs> That's what matters. That's not ideal. The last, the only uh, not 20 of the session being rolled by. <laughs> being rolled by the AI. <laughs> um, oh, that's funny. So uh, you hear a shouting noise coming from behind this last wall here of the uh, of the, the uh, fortress. Okay. Arata, you're up. Uh, so are we still combating? Techni- I mean, technically, yes. Okay. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. No, yeah, that's, that's about so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So can I see down this way now? Uh, yes, you can. Reveal the old portion of the map here. Cover by 35. Okay. I'm going to go 35, and then I suppose I'll go ahead and dash. Uh, so then 5, 10, 15. Uh, is this just like a bridge in front of me? I'm assuming. Um, oh, yeah, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's what's going on over there. Okay. Uh, so there's this shadowy figure, um, not a yokai, but really a person. Yes. Uh, he has this uh, bamboo hat on his head and a mask across his face. And he has this large scroll uh, that he's sort of manipulating and messing with. Um, the scroll is glowing uh, and it has like these like sparks coming out of it, these like blue like chakra sparks. Okay. Uh, I, I quickly shout to uh, both. I mean, am I am I close enough range where they can hear me yelling at them? So we go on easy to. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, I yeah quickly yell at them, and I'm like, hey, I think I found the thing that um, Kenjiro was talking about, like the um, I don't remember what he called it, like the you know the imbalance. the imbalance thing, the thing that was like kind of not controlling them, but that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, so as you shout this, um, the guy there. Uh, he does some hand signs that you can't really make out. Okay. Uh, and the scroll begins to burn. Uh, and he sort of glances back at you uh, uh, and silently runs up the cliffside uh, and disappears on the other side. And it, it is, the, is the scroll burnt up and gone? It's burning at the moment. Okay. Uh, and it does his utmost. Okay. Um... Uh, Rada wasn't done, I think. Well, I had oh, a few. Know. I think I had a few movement, but that was it. I think I had like because this was fifteen. I don't even think I can make it there to be. Like, oh, okay. Can I, I so. can I jump down from here? Mm-hmm. All right, so 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah, I can't quite make it. Oh, it's so sad. Um, uh, have did did Arata find a faster way to get like can Than can Than like climb this wall right here or is that is it not like a uh, he can climb the wall, yeah. Okay, but uh, he will go ahead and do that then. Well, uh, I'll say it'll take another five movement. Extra movement, now. okay. Gotcha, so 10 to jump there, then 15, 20, 25, 30, and then Dan will dash over to the scroll. Get there. Um, trying to, if he's got to pee on the fire, bro, he's got to do what he's got to do, you know? <laughs> Just dog uh, things. I'll, I'll say that he, he has used his action to dash. So oh, he okay. Do his business on the scroll. Just okay. <laughs> he's he's Sui. chilling there then. Sui goes up next. Uh, sure, it'll be an extra uh, an extra five feet of movement once you jump up there. Thirty. Thirty-five? No, you get thirty. You get thirty. Yeah, I'm quirky. Oh, special. Special like that. <laughs> Alright. Uh next up is easy tough. Okay. Um uh, Okay, I, I shout at Easy Toe as he climbs the wall here. Um, to see if there's a way he can use his sand to put this fire out on the scroll. Is that is that a thing he can do? Already ahead of you, is Haruto. 
Um, all right, so those jutsu that you can use or twenty in my head there is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think there is. Um, I toss out. Does anything negative happen when you reach like zero chakra? Um, or you can't use ninjutsu. Yeah. yeah, I don't think there's any particular negative. Okay. Thing. You can't use ninjutsu. Okay. I use a uh, magnet polarization to throw some of the sand uh, towards the scroll, attaching it to the, the scroll, but keeping uh, what's it called? Basically, magnetizing it and then magnetizing the sand that I have and thrusting it at me with like enough movement to at least put some of the fires out or the fire out. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So basically, you're magnetizing it and then moving it very quickly. Uh, yes. So okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say go ahead and make a ninjutsu check to see sort of how, how fast you can sort of stretch this, uh, how much you can stretch this jutsu and how quickly you can make the scroll. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. We are um, killing it today. Uh, it was a pretty good idea, um, but you're pretty exhausted from the battle and sort of the, the stress. Yeah. Your first kind of real battle against creatures that that do not uh, wish wish you well. <laughs> um, and uh, the scroll it, it moves towards you. I think it's like 15 feet. How that moves, um, but the, the fires are still going. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like it might have slowed it down a little bit, but that's all. Um, the samurai says. Uh, I can't run up walls like you guys, and he just spins <laughs> along, along the wall here. Uh, Arada, you're up next. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I full send it over to this thing, and I try to grab it. And do I need to do a specific action, or can I just like put the fire out with my hands and kind of like shh, like throw? I do have a blanket at the moment. It is um, okay. Would throwing a blanket on it do anything, or no? You can try that. Sure. Okay, um, I do have a, a winter blanket. I'm going to go ahead and try to, like, you know, kind of smother the fire with the blanket to get okay. it out. Also, go ahead and make a, a dex check to see how quickly you can sort of, because this blanket is not, like, at the ready. It's in your pack. So you can go yes. and make a dex check to see how quickly you can, you can okay. rummage through it. Grab the blanket. Okay. <laughs> it oh, happens. Oh, we really did it. Uh, um, you uh, smother it and sort of, like, quickly, like, sort of, Pull the edges of the blanket around this thing. Um, okay. The blanket keeping you uh, the the heat from you. Okay. And, uh, you 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 feel like it kind of got singed a little bit, but on the inside you, you're pretty sure that the fire's out. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, so I go ahead and you know unravel it like the the blanket. Uh, get the scroll out. Um, and then do I notice? Do I need a perception check to kind of see what's going on here? It, it, I mean, it's a large scroll. Um, it's about like three feet tall or so. Okay. Um, pretty. Um, on the uh, edge of it, uh, you see it does have it is like labeled, um, although part of the label has been burnt off. Okay. Uh, the top part of the label uh, label um, just says shadow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we should just go ahead and like you know, I'll I'll go ahead and put it on my back and we'll bring it to Kenjiro. Um, okay. See what he's got. Uh, so with that. Um, you all head back to the caravan uh, with your new friend, uh, Mr. Samurai. Um, and there uh, you meet Kenjiro. Um, uh, along with a man that he was carrying on his back, uh, who appears to be another Samurai. Um, the uh, Merchants are grateful for you, and they begin collecting their uh, chakra seals. Um, as Kenjiro uh, sort of uh, helps um, helps the samurai back into their carts and make sure that the merchants are good to go on their way. Uh, afterwards, he goes uh, to you guys, uh, and he says, "So, uh, how was how, how how things go? Looks like all of you survived, which is a big plus." Yeah, I mean, for our, our first kind of uh, true combat experience without you, I would say it went pretty darn well. Uh, we worked well as a team. We got a lot done. I think Izuiko took a bit of a hit, but Izuto shielded her quickly enough to where she didn't take any fatal damage or anything like that. 
That's I good. I am worn out, Teach. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> well, uh, I'm as long as you guys are all alive and relatively unwounded, that's what matters. Um, we'll we'll take a long rest tonight, and you should you should be good uh, by the time we get to you. <laughs> um, but what what's the situation though? Uh, did you find anything? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we did fight some uh, shadowy figures, um, as as we talked about. Um, and we did find a, a very weird dude. Uh, he was kind of wearing a straw hat, so I couldn't really see his face or anything. But he had this huge scroll. Um, and obviously, you know, I pull the scroll off my back or whatever and plop it down. Um, and he tried to light it on fire before we could get to it. And I smothered the flames as fast as I could. But this is what we've got left of it. Well, that's good. Uh, preserving evidence, that's rule number one for investigations. So, good on you. Um, he sort of grabs the scroll uh, and he says, Well, I'm inclined to just keep this with me for now. Uh, I'll take a better look at it when we get to Yuki. We're only about a day out. Um, and I don't want to open this uh, just in the middle of the woods here. Makes sense. So I, <laughs> makes sense. We yeah. also got this pendant. And then I like show him that it's around my neck. It has something to do with chakra, I think. He says, "Yeah, that looks like that looks like uh, there's a, been a chakra seal placed on that item. That's it's enchanted, I guess you would say." Oh, that's cool. It's already yeah, come well, to use. Perfect. Uh, I would say keep it. Um, that's that's a valuable item right there. Uh, keep it, sell it. Uh, I figure you, you found it. You can decide what to do with it. I shall be keeping it. It came in very handy. He has a not. Sounds reasonable. All right. Uh, well, in that case, I don't like the sound of this other guy. Um, how did he? How did he escape you guys? Uh, as soon as I ran up and I I saw him, and as soon as we made eye contact, like I said, he lit the scroll on fire and he immediately scampered up the cliffside and dipped out very yeah. quickly. So it sounds like a ninja. Yeah, a I would I would be surprised if he wasn't. He also uh, to light the fire. He did a jutsu because he definitely was throwing hand signs out um, when he lit the scroll on fire. I don't like the sound of that, uh, but nothing we can do about it for now. Um, I figure it's it's time to get to Yuki, uh, make sure that it's safe. That's our first priority. Sounds good. Agreed. All right. Let's continue on then. Uh, and he waves goodbye to the merchants as uh, you all continue uh, along the road. <laughs> Bye, guys. And that's where we'll end the session for tonight. Um, good job. I thought that was yes, fun. Sir. Uh, yeah. uh, I was, I mean, it's kind of up to you guys. If you don't feel you're ready, I suppose we don't have to. I was going to have you guys go up to level two at this point. I mean, I'm uh, always I'm ready for the level up. Yeah. The, the issue with level one is that it's very, it's very difficult to balance, like, for damage and stuff. Um, yeah. Because generally things just either kill you or they don't. Uh, but gotcha. with level you have a little bit more uh, wiggle room. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm definitely cool with going to level two. I'm never going like to turn down have, a level up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you guys have uh, at least a sense of how your characters work at this point, how combat works and stuff. So. Yes, <laughs> I understand my jutsu's a lot better now because <laughs> I have now for the second time wasted chakra doing things I don't need to do. But that's fine. I get it now. Okay. Well, yeah. As long as we learn. Um. Okay. So, uh, yeah, for next time, go ahead and level up to level two. Um, you'll need to either take, uh, basically, you'll either take the average for your hit dice and add that uh, with your constitution to chakra and HP for your maximums, or um, you can roll for it as well. Uh, those are the two options there. Ooh, okay, so for our hit dice, you said, so you said we do hit dice plus constitution bonus. Um, or it's either average hit dice plus constitution bonus, or we roll it. Um, and then we add that to HP and chakra, like whatever that number is. Uh, well, you have one hit dice for your HP and one hit dice for your uh, chakra. So you, it'd be one for each. Oh, okay. It'd be like, because it'd be the D10 for HP and D8 for chakra. Okay. For, for you, yeah. Yeah, depending on the person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, and then. You'll get you'll get whatever it lists uh, at the second level for your class, too. Okay. So, so I'll say, yeah, I know my people. Uh, my classes. Right. Can we do C rank yet? What rank do you unlock? Uh, I don't think you unlock. 
you unlock like a feature to a level two. You don't get a C or, you don't get any C rank stuff yet. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I can look I can look at that stuff later. Uh, for like proficiency, like your like dexterity numbers or like like all those numbers, do those do anything or not? Those are gonna stay the same. Um, those only change uh, what they change at level four and and five. Okay. And I'll literally part. do my rolls right now so everyone can see how hype this is. He says plus constitution. Uh, yeah. As for HP, I'm about to go crazy. For HP, it'd be a D10 plus your con, and then for chakra, it'd be a D8. Okay. Plus your con. Easy peasy. Uh, the you alternative. Take those. You take those. Yeah. Uh, so that was slightly better than average. <laughs> well, that no, that's actually what you would have gotten if you had chosen to take the average. Um, oh, it gives you six. Yeah, it'd be oh, okay. at five point five, and then round it up to six. So, gotcha. Um, just eighteen. I, I kind of recommend taking the average, but if you want to roll, that's fine too. I'm gonna take my average for chakra because I need chakra, and I'm not trying to get a low number on that. <laughs> <laughs> so for for a D eight, do you get? Uh, do you go five. off of you go off of five? Okay, so you do go round it up. Okay. So then I'd get plus six to the constitution. So I have, oh, I have 15 chakra. That's going to be so nice. Oh my gosh. Chakra was, was chakra also constitution? E, you yes, add your constitution, so that'd be your roll for both of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, so Kenjiro's new max, I'm sorry, uh, Arata's new max is... Oh, sorry, yeah, I can, yeah. So my uh, Arata's new max is 18 HP and 15 chakra. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. I can actually do like different combinations of stuff. Oh, I guess Dan Dan levels up too, huh? Is, is yeah, that... yeah, Dan level up. So you have to look up to see what that does. Okay. Um, so uh, I'll I'll let you guys uh, do that. If you if you need help for that, um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, okay. I'm sure we'll probably hit. You, I'll I'll hit you up on like some other day if I'm confused about it. Sure. Sounds uh, good. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll see you guys uh, next week then. All right. Have yes, sir. See you.